Hi, welcome back guys. This is your friend, the D and What If, with another fanfiction. This is the first part of What If Deku was added to a group chat full of heroes. All credits for this video go to their respective authors. So please support the real author. Check out the link in the description for more details. Please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you want more videos like this. Now let's get into the fanfic. Saturday, 2.30 PM. Nedzu created a new group chat. Nedzu added 15 people. Nedzu changed 16 names. God. Named the group chat we fight villains and stuff. Gremlin mummy. Again expressionless face. Space is cool. Didn't the last one end with Sir Night Eye threatening to sue all of us? And like wasn't there a whole lot of drama between Night Eye and AM grinning face with sweat? God. I thought we would give it another try without All Might and Sir Night Eye this time. They were the only reason that. That group chat failed. That I saw. Chicken wings. Not the shade that's being thrown right now face with tears of joy. Gremlin mummy. There were other factors to the last GC failing it wasn't just All Might and Night Eye even though he had a major role to play in it. Space is cool. Honestly AM wasn't that bad. It was all Night Eye. Howdy partner. Yeah he was a bitch. God. We're giving it another try whether you like it or not. D. S-C-R-E-M. Oh oh oh. Are we doing another we doing another group chat? God. We are. S-C-R-E-M. Y-A-H-H-H. A. Sexy lady. Well this should be fun. Kiss it better. Is it the same names as last time? God. Yes. Kiss it better. Good. A. Sexy lady. Grandma Chio has showed you. God. There are a few new additions like a Kachow at Kitty Kitty and at Human Polygraph. Kachow. Hey. Gremlin Mummy. Let me guess. You're Tensei. And Human Polygraph is now. And Kitty Kitty is Sansa. Kachow. Yeah lol. Human Polygraph. Yeah. A. Sexy lady. Yeah new people. And they're people I know. S-C-R-E-M. I like this group chat already. It's even better because now's in it. 1. Um. 1. I do believe I'm very much not supposed to be here. S-C-R-E-M. Who are you? 1. A person who doesn't belong. Goodbye. 1 has left we fight villains and stuff. 1 has joined we fight villains and stuff. 1. Whoops. Hold on. Gremlin mummy. How did you get in this chat? S-R-S. 1. I don't know. That's why I'm trying to leave. 1 has left we fight villains and stuff. 1 has joined we fight villains and stuff. 1 has left we fight villains and stuff. 1 has joined we fight villains and stuff. One has left we fight villains and stuff. One has joined we fight villains and stuff. One, sincerely what the fuck. God, I'm sorry but I have made it so nobody can leave the chat no matter what. D. I did this to ensure nobody would be able to leave after how many people tried to leave the last group chat. D. One, bro what the fuck. Gremlin mummy. Are you fucking serious? S-C-R-E-M. Oop, she used proper grammar. One, Sue oh I'm stuck. Gremlin mummy. I don't want to be here. Why am I not allowed to leave? How fucking dare you Nedzu. God, yes, one, splendid, great, wonderful, just amazing, s, s-c-r-e-m, might as well get comfortable, listener, give yourself a name, one, fine, give me a moment, one change their name to karma, a, sexy lady, why that is a name, gremlin mummy, like the anime character, pharma akabane, kachow, weeb, gremlin mummy, shut the fuck up, kachow, w-e-b, gremlin mummy, I will shove the knife up your ass, h-j, karma, not like the anime character. Though Karma is one of my fav characters from the anime. Manga, it's more inspired by the old pre-quirk era song Karma by AJR. It's also an American song. It's also a song I relate to on an unhealthy level. S-C-R-E-M. I know that song. It's a really good song. Like I Lu Avi It. Karma. Same bruh. Divided by Jen. I love the band AJR as a whole. They make such relatable music. I also really like the artists. Band Cave Town, Baby Bugs, Mother Mother, and Anson Zebra. S-C-R-E-M. The fact that you know all these old English artists makes me so happy. Gremlin Mummy. Zashi is literally screeching with joy right now. S-R-S. S-C-R-E-M. Shut up Shu. That was supposed to be our secret. Ever heard of what happens in out apartment stays in our apartment? Gremlin Mummy. Nope never heard of it. S-C-R-E-M. We made that rule after the oven incident. Or do I need to remind you of the incident to help you remember? Gremlin Mummy. Oh would you look at that I remember now? S. S-C-R-E-M. That's what I thought. Human polygraph. And they were roommates. Karma. Oh my god, they were roommates. Gremlin mummy. Now you're also our roommate. Kitty kitty. Mao is staring at his phone in joyful awe and I have a feeling it has to do with this GC I just realized I was in. Gremlin mummy. Yeah it was karma. Human polygraph. Sansa. Karma knows vine. Kitty kitty. Dude are you crying? S-C-R-E-M. Are you okay now? Human polygraph. Not even Yamada knows vine. I'm so happy. Karma. This is definitely not the reaction I was expecting. But I'm totally here for it. Glad I made you happy, Jen. Space is cool. I have an interjection. Everyone state your pronouns. Mine are they, them. Gremlin mummy. He, him. 
S-C-R-E-M. Currently he, they. Kitty kitty. He, him. Now's being emotional so I'll just tell you what his are. He, they. A, sexy lady. She, her honey. God. They, them. Flaming trash. He, him. Karma. He, him. Catch out. He, him. Kiss it better. She, her dearie. Chicken wings. He, him my guys. Howdy partner. He, they for me y'all. I do not say blah blah blah. He, him. Also why the fuck do I have to be here? God. Because I said so. Diggy diggy mole mole man. He, him. Karma. The amount of men in this GC is astronomical. A. Sexy lady. I.K.R. How should we fix it? Karma. Murder. S.C.R.E.M. W.H.A.A.A.T. Tum 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 tum. Kitty kitty. Flushed face. A. Sexy lady. I was gonna say we add more women, but murder will do smiling face with horns. Karma. I would like to preface in a group chat probably full of law enforcement and or heroes that I am not going to try and murder any of you. I could N.E.V.E.R. S.R.S. Catch L. Kahan Lil. S.C.R.E.M. We know, don't worry about it listener. Karma. I still think it needed to be said. You never know what people are thinking after all, especially over text. Flaming trash. How did you know we were heroes and police officers? Karma. The name of the group chat hinted at it. And you mentioned All Might and Sir Night Eye and that they were in the old GC. So, I kinda just guessed. Gremlin mummy. A logical guess. Have any ideas which heroes we are? Flaming trash. Should we really be condoning that type of thing? Gremlin mummy. I don't really care. Karma. Screm is present Mike. S-C-R-E-M. What how did you know loudly crying face? Karma. Your name is Screm which is just a misspelled version of scream. You basically scream for a living. You've called me listener a lot, which present Mike does a lot. Human polygraph called you Yamada. And Gremlin Mummy called you Zashi which I'm gonna guess is short for Hizashi, the given name that is on your profile on your hero.net profile. You should probably look into the fact that your name it on your hero.net profile it's honestly concerning how easily I found out your name is Yamada Hizashi. Also, the way you structure your sentences isn't that different from the way present Mike speaks, and you yourself confirmed its smirking face. S-C-R-E-M. Damn. Karma. Sorry. It has to be super creepy that I was able to figure that out. I won't do it again. I am really sorry. S-C-R-E-M. No it's fine. It's really cool you were able to figure it by just using the teeny tiny hints that were given throughout this conversation. Gremlin mummy. It's damn impressive, Jen. Can't show. Wow, that's high praise from Shu. Also, what you can do is super impressive. Karma. Smiling face. Gremlin mummy. I want you to figure out who my hero persona is. SRS. I'll be very impressed if you can, Jen. SCREM. Babe. Don't set the listener up for failure. Human polygraph. It took me months to figure out which hero you were and I'm a detective. Cacho. Yeah dude. A sexy lady. It's just cruel. Karma. Now I need to figure out who he is. And I'm going to find out. SRS. Gremlin mummy. You can try. SCREM. And OOO Shu's doing his creepy smile. Human polygraph. Okami. Monday, 2.47 a.m. Gremlin mummy. At Karma I have a very important question. Karma. Sure, what is it? Gremlin mummy. Do you like cats? Karma. Of course I do. Who doesn't? Gremlin mummy. Flaming trash. Hence the name. Karma. Well flaming trash always gave off idiotic vibes anyway. HJ. Gremlin mummy. Exactly. Do you want pictures of my cats? Karma. Most certainly. Gremlin mummy. Divided by divided by Gremlin Mummy has attached an image of a white cat barely hanging onto a door frame. This is T-Mobile. I found her licking a T-Mobile sign. She has a very strange. She licks literally anything with the T-Mobile logo on it. Karma. I love her already. Divided by Jen. Gremlin Mummy. She truly is one of the sweetest cats I've met. Divided by divided by Gremlin Mummy has attached an image of a tuxedo cat with a black mustache sitting prettily on a chair. This is Penguin. He's a dickhead. He will bite and scratch you without any hesitation. Karma. It looks like Penguin is mean mugging me. Gremlin Mummy. Exactly my point. Divided by divided by Gremlin Mummy has attached an image of a dark grey Norwegian forest kitten laying on its back staring into the camera with wide eyes and dilated pupils. This is Dog. He acts like a dog sometimes. And for some reason knows how to bark. That's all the cats I have I do want more though. Karma. I love all your cats so much. Do you want to see my cats? Gremlin Mummy. 100%. Karma. Divided by divided by karma has attached an image of a British short eye with a piece of paper with the words fuck you in its mouth. This is dipshit. He would sell me on Etsy for zero money. And he wouldn't even regret it. To him I'm just a waste of space. Gremlin mummy. Even with just the photo I could tell the name would fit. Karma. I know right lol. Dipshit is a dipshit and he isn't the least bit ashamed. Gremlin mummy. Guess he deserves the name then doesn't he? Karma. Divided by divided by karma attached an image of a ratty old orange tabby cat laying in a bathroom sink with water running over its side. This is princess. She is legit so old. I have no clue how she's still alive. 
She's like 19 years old and has been run over by two cars. Gremlin Mummy. Kami. That's one durable cat. Karma. IKR. Like how? Gremlin Mummy. Honestly looks like she could drop dead any minute. Karma. And yet, she doesn't. Gremlin Mummy. Oh shit. S-C-R-E-M. Shu I swear to fucking god if you do not put that phone down right now and go to bed, I will punch you. It is 3 in the fucking morning. Human polygraph. Shouta it's the one night you don't have patrol and you still don't sleep. Also, you and Karma both have school in the morning. S-C-R-E-M. That reminds me. Karma. Karma. Oh shit. How do you know I have school in the morning? Human polygraph. You give off college student vibes. S-C-R-E-M. Karma you are still growing, even if you're in college, and should be getting a proper sleep, it's very important for your development. Human polygraph. Go to bed both of you right now. Phones away. No more activity. Only sleep. Karma. Yes sirs 07 bird. Gremlin mummy. Going to bed right now. Karma. Yup. Right away. Good night. Gremlin mummy. Night kid. S-C-R-E-M. Good night little listener. Hope you sleep well. Human polygraph. Good night. Karma has logged off. Gremlin mummy has logged off. S-C-R-E-M has logged off. Human polygraph has logged off. Monday 4.05 p.m. Karma. Bro watch me just sit on my ass all day watching cat videos instead of my assignment that's due tomorrow cat. Chicken wings. Maybe you should do that homework. Karma. Nah. The cat videos distract me from my crippling depression. H.J. Howdy partner. The more karma talks the more he reminds me of shout a face with tears of joy. They have the same humor, they both like cats, they're both insomniacs, and they both fear Yamada and Tsukachi. Gremlin mummy. We are not similar. Karma. We are not similar. Howdy partner. They even responds the same way. Gremlin mummy. Shut the fuck up. Karma. I will murder you. Howdy partner. You're even violent too. Karma. Shout it. Do you know where Howdy partner lives right? Gremlin mummy. Yes. I actually have my eyes on him right now. What do you want me to do? Karma. Throw him out the window. Only if it's not at a height that'll kill him. Gremlin mummy. On it. I do not say blah blah blah. Why did I just see Aizawa throw Amano out the window? Karma I'm asking you specifically. Karma. I have no idea what you're talking about smiling face with smiling eyes rainbow. I do not say blah blah blah. Don't lie to me. I know it was you. Karma. With what proof? I do say blah blah blah. Where the fuck did the messages go? Karma I know you did this. Karma. Bro why do you always blame me for shit I've never done? You're literally so mean to me bro. I do not say blah blah blah. The messages were there just a second ago. Gremlin mummy. Yeah can. Why are you always a dick to karma? I do not say blah blah blah. I have literally never been mean to him. Karma. Lies. I do not say blah blah blah. You know what? Fuck you both. Chicken wings. What have I just popped into the face with tears of joy? Karma. Dracula being mean to me. Did you see that? He's so mean to me. Gremlin mummy. Yes he was so mean to karma blaming him for things he would never do. So rude. Chicken wings. Ah. Uh, shame on you can. Shame. Karma. Aizawa. Can you throw can out a window? Gremlin mummy. Happily. Chicken wings. Oh my god El Mao. You have so much power karma. Karma. I have the power of Shouta and anime on my side. Rainbow frog face martial arts uniform pig nose. Kitty kitty. And he's whining Tsuka over two at the vines or whatever they're called. Gremlin mummy started a private chat with karma. Monday. 4.25 p.m. Gremlin mummy. How did you make it so Kan couldn't see those messages? Karma. Oh. It was just some simple hacking. His phone isn't even that protected. It's honestly concerning how easy it was. Gremlin mummy. You can hack. Karma. Yup. I've been teaching myself for four years now lol. I'd say I'm pretty good. Gremlin mummy. What's the hardest thing you can successfully hack into? Karma. The hero commission. I've seen some shit from their man. Especially when it comes to hawks. Gremlin mummy. Damn kid. That's impressive. Karma. Thank you. It was really hard tbh. Gremlin mummy. I bet. Have you tried hacking into Yua? Karma. No, I've been holding off on doing that. Gremlin mummy. You should try it. Karma. Well, if I get arrested for it, I get arrested for it. YOLO. Gremlin mummy. That's the spirit. Just try not to get caught. We fight villains and stuff. Monday. 4.35 p.m. S-C-R-E-M. Why do I have a feeling something terrible is about to happen? A sexy lady. I literally have the same feeling OMG. I do not say blah blah blah. I have the same feeling. Kiss it better. Me as well. Human polygraph. Shouta. I can feel you being a bad influence. S-C-R-E-M. That's why we had the feeling. Gremlin mummy. I'm not being a bad influence. Karma. He totally is. Gremlin mummy. Shut the fuck up karma. Karma. He's encouraging me to do something illegal. Gremlin mummy. I trusted you. Karma. Rainbow. S-C-R-E-M. Oh my gods. Shu. Kacho. Shouta. You're a literal fucking pro hero. You can't do that. Chicken wings. Personally I won't arrest him. 
Human polygraph. Me either, but you shouldn't be encouraging it. Karma. I won't have any regrets even if I do end up in jail. Which I won't be TW. I'm too good for jail. Also, I wouldn't get caught in the first place. Y'all will never know if I ever actually do it pig nose. Flaming trash. That's kind of concerning. Kremlin mummy. We better never know. Space is cool. Especially since I'm pretty sure all of us believe him. Chicken wings. LMAOOO. Honestly. Slay. Karma. OMLLMAO. I'm glad you believe me. Chicken wings. Why is that honestly kinda threatening? Karma. Cause I wanted it to be. Thursday. 10.05 AM. Gremlin mum. Everyone tells Zashi that I should be allowed to get another cat. S-C-R-E-M. Do not tell me that pouting face face with steam from nose. Catch L. Don't you already have like a million cats? Gremlin mummy. It's actually only three so shut up. Human polygraph. Shoo. Babe we're only allowed to have one. Gremlin mummy. I wouldn't give a fuck even if we weren't allowed to have any. I want another cat. Human polygraph. Wait shoo. Shouldn't you be teaching right now? It's like only ten ham. I do not say blah blah blah. He expelled his entire class this year. Kitty kitty. He did fucking what grinning cat face. Karma. Excusey. Alien monster robot face Jack O' Lantern alien. Also I would not take Gremlin as a person who would teach her children willing. Who forced this man to teach? How old are the children? Gremlin mummy. Nedzu and my wife forced me to teach. High schoolers. Karma. That is such a Nedzu thing to do honestly. Oh. Not what I was expecting honestly. You teach at a hero school right? Gremlin mummy. Yes. you. Karma. That's awesome dude, Jen. That was like my dream school, until I realized I have like no chance at getting in. God, I'm sure you would have been able to get in. You have shown that you are very smart and I do think it's fair for me to assume you've always been smart for your age. Karma, that's nice but there's other reasons I think I wouldn't be able to get in. Catch L. What reasons? Karma, quirk reasons. And basically everyone I know telling me I couldn't sue oh yeah. T-shirt. Gremlin mummy. What course did you want to get into? Karma, hero course. Gremlin mummy. Did you have a backup for if you didn't get in the first try? Karma. Yeah, go into the hero course through the sports festival. But I don't think I could have done that either. From what I saw in other sport festivals I would have had my ass handed to me on a silver platter. Gremlin mummy. I was horrendous with my stamina and strength when I was first in the hero course. If I went up against anyone in a fair fight back then I would have lost. The sports festival felt like I was fighting for my life too. All I'm saying is if you are desperate enough and your fight of flight instincts kick in you can do anything. I'm sure you could have made it. I do not say blah blah blah. I don't see you're giving him false hope. If everyone around him was saying he couldn't, then it is probably. Also he's too old now anyway. Gremlin mummy. Of just shut the fuck up. S-C-R-E-M. Agreed. Also, I just want to add that to me. It looked like Shu was beating all his hero students with ease. He didn't even look at all as scared as he later told me he was. Gremlin mummy. It was all an act. A lie to deceive the public. Human polygraph. It was honestly really impressive that you did as good as you did. And even more impressive that you won Shu smiling face with smiling eyes. Karma. Oh, so he won. Do say more. S-C-R-E-M. It was when I fell for him. It was love at first sight. I honestly would have let him beat the shit out of me without second thought. Would have let him have a bite too if you know what I mean. Human polygraph. Me too. It was hot honestly. It's hard to believe we were only 15 at the time. Man, the things that came to mind. Karma. Say less, say less rig now. God fucking shit. My asexual here can't take this. Alien monster rainbow martial arts uniform alien ring frog face pig nose. Space is cool. My neither cries in ace loudly crying face. Gremlin mummy. My neither. And I've had worse said about me. Karma. Shout a control your husband and wife right now. Throw them out the window or some shit. Gremlin mummy. On it. S-C-R-E-M. It was one paragraph. OML shoes actually going to throw me out a window. N-E-M-U. I see you watching. Help him ee loudly crying face 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 loudly crying face. A sexy lady. No. S-C-R-E-M. N-E-M-U-R-I-I-I. W-H-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-
But I felt the need to check just in case you weren't just an insanely smart five-year-old. Karma. Amal SMH. And not five. I haven't been five in years. Also, did you miss the fact that I said I was a legal adult twice? Ever heard of college? I'm in college classes. Idiot. Flaming trash. Oh right. S-C-R-E-M. Wait. Back to what started this conversation. Karma you're my only hope. Tell Shu that we can't get another cat. Karma. Don't make me say lies. The answer to whether or not you should get another cat is always yes. Gremlin mummy. You make me like you more everyday karma. You're a good person, Jen. Karma. OMG. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. Howdy partner. Yamada. You know karma likes cats. Why would you even consider asking him? S-C-R-E-M. I forgot. It was a lasp in judgment. Karma. I really do like cats. My cats are my babies. Gremlin mummy. My cats are my babies too. Eh, hey, sexy lady. Cats are heavenly. Sushi is basically the queen of my house. Divided by divided by. Sexy lady attached an image of a black and white cat staring devilishly down at the camera from on top of a fridge. I mean isn't she adorably. Smiling face with smiling eyes cherry blossom cherry blossom mushroom sparkles sparkling heart sparkles sparkles sparkling heart. Gremlin mummy. Sushi is an asshole but adorable. Karma. I would kill for sushi. TBH I would kill for basically any cat. But that doesn't matter. Frog face martial arts uniform t-shirt rainbow mushroom kiss mark. A sexy lady. Karma can I see pictures of you cats? Karma. Sure. Divided by divided by karma attached an image of dipshit holding a piece of paper with the words fuck you on it. Divided by divided by karma attached an image of princess laying in a bathroom sink with water running over its side. Divided by divided by karma attached an image of dipshit laying on top of princess looking very smug. Princess looked tired. Divided by divided by karma attached an image that was slightly blurry. You could see dipshit falling from a chandelier. Divided by divided by karma attached an image of princess being held to a chest by a very freckled arm. A hey, sexy lady. They're so cute. I am literally dying from cuteness overload. Karma. Their names are dipshit and princess. Princess is the really old and ratty one that looks like she's gonna die any second. And bastard is the only that's always mean mugging you. A hey, sexy lady. I love princess's name. She looks like the opposite of what you would expect. Karma. Apparently, she used to be a very beautiful cat but then she got run over by two different cars and shit just went downhill from there. A hey, sexy lady. She was run over twice. No wonder she looks like that flushed face. Karma. I know right cries. I love her though. She doesn't give any shits what you do to her. And she only reacts by purring or these tiny little meows she does. Meanwhile dipshit would literally push you out a window and confess to doing it without any regret. He got his name because even as a kitten he was an asshole. We love him though. A hey, sexy lady. Of course we do. Gremlin mummy. I would die for dipshit even if he didn't care. God. Kayama kun I do believe you're supposed to be teaching right now. A hey, sexy lady. Oh shit. Yes sir. On it sir. Please don't fire me sir. God. If you don't want to get fired then teach. A hey, sexy lady. Yes sir. A hey, sexy lady has logged off. Chicken wings. Oop. Someone got in trouble lol. Karma. Iker lol. Chicken wings. Don't you also have school? Karma. The teacher isn't here so I'm take advantage. Plus I already know all the material for this class. Frog face exploding head kiss mark robot face jack o' lantern person shrugging alien. Chicken wings. Oh, you're smart aren't you? Karma. No, nah, I'm just bored. Gremlin mummy. You shouldn't be bored in class. You should be learning. Karma. I know. But no one listens when I say I need to be moved up a level or two or more. I basically just teach myself or take extra online classes. Gremlin mummy. That just changed that you're being held back when you really shouldn't be. Karma. There's not much I can do about it. No one listens. Friday, 4.04 p.m. Karma. Just me and my bag of uncooked noodles. Divided by divided by karma attached an image picture of a bag of uncooked. Hard. Noodles being held by a pale slightly scared hand it shows a mall in the background. Chicken wings. Bra WTF. I wonder if you're sane sometimes. Karma. Me too. Day. Chicken wings. Flushed face. I do not say bleh bleh bleh. That is so gross. And it has to be bad for your teeth. Chicken wings. Don't yuck other people's yums. Let people do what they want without your negative opinion. Gremlin mummy. Delicious. Jen. Karma. IKR. Howdy partner. Shukun. You and karma would be best friends. Gremlin mummy. Maybe. Karma. Maybe. Chicken wings. Personally I think they're related. Karma. Could I have a vague description of what you look like? Karma. This is gonna be super vague but sure. Black hair, green eyes, and pale skin. I'm also like super skinny. But that could be because I don't eat right. Chicken wings. Oop. Everything but the eyes are the same for Aizawa. This confirms it. They're related or something face with tears of joy. Kacho. Face with tears of joy. Karma. Bruh. That literally confirms nothing. 
Our DNA also have a lot to do with it. Our parents have a lot to do with it. Gremlin mummy. I have two dads that are very awesome. Karma. There, I have a dad that keft we I want for. And am and why does Tilo and meh. Howdy partner. Just because y'all don't have the same parents don't mean y'all's parents couldn't be related. Chicken wings. Karma. Did you just suddenly decide that proper grammar doesn't matter anymore? Also, how the fuck did you understand that Amano? Howdy partner. Shukun messages me while on patrol and it's like that. Karma. Sorry I was attempting to type that while running through a very packed shopping mall. Let me translate there. I have a dad that left when I was four and a mom that doesn't love me. Chicken wings. Why were you running through a crowded shopping mall? Karma. Running from some people in my school. Oh shit. I gots to go. Karma has logged off. Chicken wings. Um um. What was that? I'm honestly kinda concerned. Gremlin mummy. Me too. Catch out. I'm still trying to process the parent statement. Howdy partner. I feel like you need to process things faster if you're a hero. Catch out. There's a lot to unpack there. I do not say blah blah blah. I don't see why you car so much. Chicken wings. Oh fuck off. We care because we like him. Howdy partner. What chicken said. Chicken wings. Something about you calling me chicken feels wrong. Gremlin mummy. Vlad you're an idiot so we don't expect you to understand. Friday. 6.07 p.m. Karma. Hypothetically. What should you do if you broke your wrist and can't go to the hospital? I would like to restate that I am asking for a friend. This is all a hypothetical. Chicken wings. Go to the fucking hospital. Gremlin mummy. Did you break your wrist? S-C-R-E-M. Oop. Shoes getting serious. Karma. This is hypothetical. Karma responded to chicken wings. Karma. Did you not hear when I said and can't go to the hospital? Someone answer the question. Kiss it better. You should splint the wrist. Though, before splinting the wrist check for the following. Check circulation by comparing the color and temperature of the injured wrist against the uninjured wrist. Check sensation by asking the patient which finger you are touching. Check motion by having the patient wiggle their fingers to make a homemade splint. Gently wrap the wrist in some cloth or padding to help cushion the break. Do not attempt to realign the bones. Leave that task to the professionals. Place the splint so that it rests on the joint above and the joint below the injury. Using strips of cloth, fasten the splint tightly enough to keep the joint steady and secure but not enough to cut off circulation. Try not to place ties directly over the wound. Be sure to immobilize the hand. Any movement of the hand will result in pressure on the wrist. Recheck circulation, sensation, and motion. If, after splinting, the wrist begins to swell, turn pale, or look bluish, loosen the ties a bit. They may be too tight. The ties should be secure enough to stabilize the wrist, but you should always be able to feel a pulse. You should also loosen the ties if they're in continued or worsening pain. If these measures don't help and the injured person is still experiencing pain, you should remove the splint altogether. If you absolutely need to realign the broken bone by yourself there are a few steps you need to take. Ice the injury. Apply something cold, preferably ice, to the bone fracture as soon as you can. Control the pain with medication. Before realigning a fractured bone, you need to consider pain control, otherwise the patient may lose consciousness or go further into shock. Realign the bone with closed reduction. Closed reduction involves stabilizing above and below the fracture site and gently applying traction to the most distal piece in the general direction that it's facing. While maintaining traction, gently move the most distal piece back towards its anatomical position such that the fractured bone looks straight. Closed reduction realigns bones without breaking through the skin. Karma. Thank you, you saint on earth, for actually being helpful. Kiss it better. I do suggest that whoever broke their wrist goes to the hospital. Karma. That's so expensive though. I mean who the hell can afford that shit? Kitty kitty. People with privilege. Karma. Exactly. Sansa gets it. Kitty kitty. Cause I'm poor cries and broke crying cat face. Karma. Breast same dies inside at all these bills that I somehow must pay with my very little money. Gremlin mummy. Young me would be crying with you. But now I'm living on six different wages so I get to laugh at your poorness now. Karma. Sincerely fuck you expressionless face. Kitty kitty. I hold the same sentiment expressionless face. S-C-R-E-M. Karma. Honey. Sweetheart. If you need help when it comes to money, I'm sure all of us are willing to help you. Gremlin mummy. Oh most definitely. Chicken wings. I will give you all the money in my bank account karma. Howdy partner. I would also help you with money. Karma. I understand your pain. Karma. No it's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm fine. It's just a little tight sometimes. Kitty kitty. What about me? I'm broke too. Gremlin mummy. PFFT. Get your own money. Kitty kitty. I am best friends with your husband. Gremlin mummy. You already get free meals from us every day. And you have slept in our spare bedroom more times than I can count. Don't act like we don't care about you. Karma is in college. Probably doesn't have a very stable job. And from what I can tell doesn't have any support from his parents. He needs our help more than you do. Howdy partner. I also have given him money in the past to money leeching vermin. 
Kitty kitty. Right. Sorry. A eh, sexy lady. Damn, Shaochen and Imano really went off on Sansa lol face with tears of joy. Flaming trash. I would like to point out the fact that Karma left in a very alarming way then came back asking about how to take care of a fractured wrist. That's, to me at least, very concerning. Grinning face with sweat. Karma. It's a hypothetical broken wrist. Chicken wings. Wait. T-O-D-O-R-O-K-I you're right. Karma. Huh. Flaming trash is endeavor. That's fucking hilarious. Gremlin mummy. What happened while you were offline kid? Karma. Nothing you need to worry yourself about. I'm fine. Gremlin mummy. I have a feeling that your definition that your definition of fine and mine are very similar. Karma. What do you mean by that? S-C-R-E-M. Shu will say he's fine after he's just been stabbed. Karma. Oh. Fuck you S-H-O-U-T-A. I quote him fine. And not your kind. Also hypothetical. Chicken wings. I'm sorry but I just don't believe you. But I am willing to move on from this subject cause I have a feeling we will get nowhere with this. Karma. Good choice. I have a very good subject change that I expect will work 10 over 10. Hazashi, Tsuka, what would you describe Shouta to be like, personality-wise? Howdy partner. Smart move face with tears of joy. S-C-R-E-M. He's a little closed off, but a totally softy for the people he cares about. He is very kind and makes sure all the victims, civilians he saves are actually safe before leaving to continue patrol. He has a huge soft spot for cats especially kittens, and he can be very romantic sometimes. He remembers the things people tell him and often uses that when he's getting a gift for that person, so he's also really good at gift giving. Smiling face with hard eyes face blowing a kiss smiling face with hard eyes face blowing a kiss face blowing a kiss face blowing a kiss kissing face with closed eyes red heart red heart red heart red heart red heart. Human polygraph. That doesn't mean he can't be an asshole though. With people he doesn't know he's really closed off and cold. He usually looks dead inside, and his smile looks really creepy when it's fake. But when he gives a true honestly smile, he honestly looks absolutely gorgeous. S-C-R-E-M. He also has these little things he does, like rub his pointer finger and thumb together when he's nervous, or make strange and unexpected noises, or how he tries his smiles under his scarf, or when he's around people he's comfortable with his flaps his hands when he's excited. Red heart 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 smiling face with hard eyes smiling face with hard eyes smiling face with hard eyes sparkling heart sparkling heart sparkling heart sparkling heart. Human polygraph. His genuine laugh is also the most angelic thing I've heard. S-C-R-E-M. He just has a bunch of quirks and unique things about him and it just makes me love him more. Red heart 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 sparkling 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 heart smiling face with heart eyes 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 face blowing a kiss 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 Karma. The fact that I got all of that from asking one question is honestly adorable. Private chat between smart green boy and smart white animal. Friday, 6.50pm. Smart white animal. That was a smart move. Using Yamada-kun's and Tsukachi-kun's feelings against them to gain information to figure out what hero Aizawa-kun was. You should be proud. Smart green boy. Thank you. I feel kinda bad though. It was manipulative. Smart white animal. But it got you valuable information. That's a very important skill you could use in heroics. Smart green boy. Again, thank you. But I don't think I'll ever get the chance to use it in that context. It's simply not possible for me. Smart white animal. Why? Because people say you can't because you're quirkless. A quirk is not everything Midori Akun. You have the intelligence and stamina to be able to get into the hero course. After some strength and fighting training you would be just as good as any other possible student with a quirk. Smart green boy. Nedzu. Literally no one will train me because I'm quirkless. Smart white animal. Nobody needs to know you don't have a quirk. Smart green boy. People asks for ID's aerial tramway. Smart white animal. Who said your ID had to be your actually ID Makumo Akatami kun. Divided by divided by God, has attached an image of a fake ID on top of an envelope. It's currently on its way to your house. Smart green boy. Kami Nedzu. Thanks though. Smart white animal. Of course Midori Akun. We fight villains and stuff. Friday, 6.45 p.m. Gremlin mummy. I need both my spouses to shut the fuck up right now. SRS. Catch L. A W W W. Are you embarrassed Shouta? Smirking face. A. Sexy lady. You don't need to be embarrassed Shu. All of that was so sweet. Now and Zashi clearing love you a lot. Beaming face with smiling eyes. Flaming trash. Exactly what I was going to say. You should be happy you have spouses that love you so much. Gremlin mummy. I'm leaving. Gremlin mummy has logged off. Chicken wings. He actually left. Karma. Not surprising honestly. He's embarrassed. 
Chicken wings. I can tell El Mao. Sunday, 2.01 p.m. Gremlin mummy. I just had the most terrifying nightmare. Ever. Howdy partner. What was it? Gremlin mummy. Nedzu and some other horrifying human standing on top of a skyscraper cackling as the world burns and people scream around them. I don't know who that person is, but I hope I die before I see the day they meet. God, that is quite the interesting dream. But I think I already know who you're talking about. Gremlin mummy. Oh my fucking god. Who? God, just wait. They're about to message the group chat. Karma. Shout out At gremlin mummy. I know who your hero persona is. Response to God. Howdy partner. Oh my gods darn. No, not the poor innocent soul. Don't corrupt him loudly crying face. Gremlin mummy. What? No you don't. S-C-R-E-M. There's no way. Chicken wings. Really? That's awesome dude. S-C-R-E-M. The fact that Shouta is actually awake and reading this amazes me. Karma. Nice to know you believed in me frog face cat face bust and silhouette. Gremlin mummy. Who do you think I am? Karma. The erasure hero. Eraser hat. You couldn't tell but I was doing jazz hands. Human polygraph. How the fuck? Sincerely, how the fuck? Eh, sexy lady. I'm asking myself the same question. Karma. So I'm right. Fuck yeah. Chicken wings. Congrats dude. Karma. Thank you. Gremlin mummy. How? Karma. Well, firstly, I had your full civilian name, which was very helpful. Secondly, I knew you attended UA and participated in your first year sports festival. Thirdly, I also knew you were the first gen ed kid to win the sport festival. Fourthly, I knew you had black hair, were pale, and were skinny and at least a little weak in your first year. Fifthly, I know your personality from when I talked with you myself and from your spouses. Now add all that up and add in the fact that I'm kickass hacker it was rather easy to figure out your quirk allowed you to nullify the quirk of anybody you look at and that your hair floats and your eyes turn red when it is activated. Now add in the fact that I just so happen to know a certain underground hero who has that exact same quirk who goes by the name Eraserhead and who I've seen patrol around my neighborhood for years now. That makes it rather easy to figure out who you, Aizawa Shouta, are. Gremlin Mummy. Damn, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't think you would be able to do it. You're a fucking genius karma. Karma. I like proving people wrong. I'm just petty that way. Also I'm not that smart. I'm sure anyone one could do that. Gremlin Mummy. If anyone is Nedzu then sure. But kid. You did that in a week. And with my name, the fact that I won my first year sport festival. Was in the gen ed course at UA for a little, and what my personality is like, and very little about my appearance. No normal person could do that. Especially since I'm an underground hero. It's impressive. Karma. Well when you say it like that it makes it seem awesome. But it's really nothing. Gremlin mummy. The fact that you consider that nothing is concerning. Chicken wings. So karma's self-confidence needs some work. Got it. Howdy partner. We can fix it. Chicken wings. Hell yeah, we can. Karma. Oh my kami. Catch out. So karma knows who the people in this chat are. Karma. Three actually. Shouta equals eraser hat. Hizashi equals present mic. Flaming trash equals endeavor. Flaming trash. When did you figure that out? Karma. When chicken wings called you Todoroki. That was literally all I needed lol. Chicken wings. Oops. Sorry Todoroki grinning face with sweat. Flaming trash. It's fine. I don't really care. Chicken wings. You should try and figure me out next. Karma, are you sure? I'm sure it can kinda be creepy, I'll be prying into your life. Chicken wings, 100%. Karma, okay. Chicken wings, fuck yeah. Private chat between asshole and stoat form and annoyed kitten. Sunday, 2.30pm. Annoyed kitten, have you corrupted karma? Asshole in stoat form, no. Sadly I have not been able to get my hands on him yet. Annoyed kitten, good. Stay the fuck away from karma. He's young, he doesn't need you corrupting him at such a young age. Asshole in stoat form. But I starting teaching you when you were 16 didn't I? Annoyed kitten. Yes. And now I live with consequences. Stay away from karma. Asshole in stoat form. We'll see. We fight villains and stuff. Sunday. 2.34 p.m. Howdy partner. Wait. Are y'all just gonna ignore that karma's the one that Nedzu was burning the world with in Shukun's dream? Gremlin mummy. Nedzu has confirmed that he has not yet corrupted karma. And as far as I'm concerned it will stay that way. At karma. Karma. Yeah. Gremlin mummy. I need you to repeat after me. I will not take sketchy offers, or any offers at all, from insane rodent-like creatures no matter how good the deal may seem. Karma. Um, okay. I will not take sketchy offers, or any offers at all, from insane rodent-like creatures no matter how good the deal may seem. Why did I do that? Gremlin mummy. Just trust me kid. It's not worth it. I am severely traumatized from my time with the rodent. Karma. Okay gorilla dashing away. Chicken wings. Why is the monkey farting grinning face with sweat? Monday, 9.05 p.m. S-C-R-E-M. I hate having to have hearing aids to able to hear properly cries. Flaming trash. I wasn't aware that you needed hearing aids. Is it because of your quirk? S-C-R-E-M. 
Yeah, having bad ears suck. Especially when it could have been prevented with some sort of support gear. Karma. I feel you man, Chen. Chicken wings. Wait, Karma you have hearing problems. Karma. Yeah, it's because of someone I know. They have a rather loud quirk. It's kinda annoying because it could probably be avoided. Gremlin mummy. Shouldn't they be able to control that shit by now? How bad is your hearing? What's their quirk? Karma. They actually have pretty good control for their age. My hearing is shit. I need to someone to be screaming and directly in my face to be able to hear them. And even then, it's kinda hard to understand. Their quirk has to do with explosions on a basic level. Gremlin mummy. If they have such good control then why is your hearing so bad because of them? I don't like what that implies karma. S-C-R-E-M. Me either. Karma. There's not much I can do about it. Basically everyone I know hates me. Chicken wings. How could anyone hate you? You're like so sweet. Maybe a bit of a gremlin but sweet. Karma. It has nothing to do with my personality. It has to do with something I can't control. Gremlin mummy. That's a fucking bullshit reason. If you can't control it that is. Flaming trash. Does it have to do with your quirk? Karma has logged off. Flaming trash. Oh shit. Gremlin mummy. Really living up to the name Todoroki. Flaming trash. I didn't mean to. If I knew he would have that kind of reaction I would have kept my mouth shut. Karma I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. Chicken wings. Karma. Please come back. S-C-R-E-M. Karma. Todoroki didn't mean to upset you. We're sorry. Please come back. Gremlin mummy. Don't bother he'll come back when he wants to. Monday. 11.59 p.m. Karma. Sorry for reacting like that. I love quirks, just not when they involve me. Gremlin mummy. It's fine kid. Don't worry about it. Flaming trash. I am very sorry for bringing up something that was upsetting to you. Karma. It's fine. You had no way of knowing. Chicken wings. Karma. You're back. Karma. I am D. S C R E M. I'm glad you're back listener. But go to sleep. It's midnight and you have school in the morning. Karma. Okay. S C R E M. Don't look at me like that. It's for your own good. Karma. Fine. Good night. Gremlin mummy. Mike kid. Chicken wings. Good night birdie. S C R E M. Good night listener. Flaming trash. Good night karma. Karma has logged off. Private chat between asshole and stoat form and annoyed kitten. Friday, 7 p.m. Annoyed kitten. Nezu. I'm concerned for karma. Asshole in stoat form. Why is that? Annoyed kitten. Karma is very clearly getting bullied or abused in some form, and it seems severe. I mean he had a broken wrist, and he's spoken about how he has lost hearing because of someone in his grade. Asshole in stoat form. You are concerned karma is being abused or bullied in some way. Annoyed kitten. Yes, and I think it has something to do with his quirk. It doesn't take much thinking to connect the dots. Quirk discrimination is a big thing in today's society. It wouldn't be that big of a stretch to say that that's happening to karma. You know who he is correct. Asshole in stoat form. Are you asking me to reveal personal information without his consent? Annoyed kitten. I'm asking you to see if he needs help. Asshole in stoat form. I expected such a request from you. But, shout a -kun. Even if he does in fact need help, you wouldn't be able to help him. I cannot reveal any of his personal information without his full consent. So, knowing this, is it still worth it for you to know that somebody you cannot help may need it? Annoyed kitten. You can help him though right? Just because I can't doesn't mean you can't. Asshole in stoat form. That is correct. Though I do feel he would be rather upset with me if I helped him. He is rather stingy about things like that. Annoyed kitten. You would help if he really needed it right? Asshole in stoat form. I would. Annoyed kitten. Okay fine. Asshole in stoat form. You're rather attached to karma kun shout a kun. Annoyed kitten. Fuck off. Asshole in stoat form. A D. Wednesday, 2.05 p.m. A. Sexy lady. Karma. At karma. Karma. You called. A. Sexy lady. I need you to add someone. To the chat. Karma. Who? A. Sexy lady. My beautiful beloved wife Mrs. Choke. Karma. On it. Why not just ask Nenzu? A. Sexy lady. Because Nenzu is in a meeting right now and has all notifications silenced. So it's easier to just go through you. Karma. Oh okay Ariel Tramway. Karma added Mrs. Joke to the chat. Karma changed Mrs. Joke's name to Laffy Taffy. Karma. Welcome United States. Laffy Taffy. Thank Yao. Beaming face with smiling eyes 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 grinning 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 face with smiling eyes. A. Sexy lady. My love ahhh smiling face with heart eyes smiling face with heart eyes red heart red heart red heart cherry blossom cherry blossom face blowing a kiss face blowing a kiss face blowing a kiss. Laffy taffy. N-E-M-I-I-I. Smiling face with hard eyes 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 smiling face with hard eyes. Gremlin mummy. Karma how could you? Karma. Aerial tramway frog face United States Jack-O-Lantern. Gremlin mummy. Karma why? 
Karma, I can't hold Kayama from her wife. You have both your spouses. Laffy Taffy. I miss you Nimi Yai Red Heart 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 Two Hearts Two Hearts Two Hearts Two Hearts Two Hearts Two Hearts Smiling Face with Hard Eyes 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 Gremlin Mummy But they act all lovey dovey and shit A sexy lady I miss you too loudly crying face 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 smiling face with hard eyes 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 red heart red heart red heart two hearts two hearts karma may i remind you about the time you left the gc because your spouses were babbling about how great you are gremlin mummy fine Fuck you. Karma's a bitch. I mean that in two ways. Karma. I understood that. Laffy Taffy. I can't wait for dinner tonight. Beaming face with smiling eyes beaming face with smiling eyes beaming face with smiling eyes smiling 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 face with smiling eyes grinning face with big 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 eyes grinning squinting face grinning squinting face grinning squinting face grinning squinting face grin squinting face a sexy lady me too. A-H-H-H. I sent Ken Ken's friend coming over. Laffy Taffy. Why E-S-S-S-S? I'm so happy we were able to convince him. I do not say bleh bleh bleh. Seriously karma. We don't need any more homosexuals in this group chat. Karma. Bitch what? Gremlin mummy. Shut the fucking hell up. I do not say bleh bleh bleh. I'm just telling my opinion. Howdy partner. Your opinion is invalid. Karma. What they said. You can fuck right off. Laffy Taffy. I may have only just met Karma, but I love him already. Karma. Ah, uh, thanks. Howdy partner. I like to call it the sparkles karma effect sparkles. Karma. I just got Riz. Catch out. What the fuck is Riz? Gremlin mummy. Another way to say charisma. Karma. What he said. Wednesday, 7-11pm. Karma. This is not it. Gremlin mummy. What? Karma. I somehow lost a full ass human family. Chicken wings. How the fuck do you do that? Karma. I don't know. Gremlin mummy. Do you have their numbers? Karma. Of course, I think I spend more time at their house than my own. Chicken wings. Then why the hell are you texting us and not them dumbass? Karma. Because I find the situation funny and wanted to share. Family group chat. Wednesday, 7.20pm. Ken Ken. Izuku. Where the fuck are you? Zuzu. I don't know frog face. Help. I quote am scared. That was not meant to be all caps. M. L. M. A. O. Send your location Izuku. Nemi. We can't take you anywhere, can we? Ken Ken. Apparently not. You scared me so bad Zuku loudly crying face. Zuzu. Sorry. Ken Ken. No need to apologize. You didn't mean to. Zuzu. Divided by divided by Zuzu attached his location. There you go. Ken Ken. How can your situational awareness be so good sometimes and so terrible other times? Zuzu. I'm just built different. Ken Ken. You truly are neutral face. Zuzu. Don't be mean cries. Ken Ken. I'm not being mean person shrugging male side. Zuzu. Gorilla. Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. Zuzu, I have been found. Nemi, you have face with tears of joy face with tears of joy face with tears of joy rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing. Try not to get lost again. Zuzu, I will make no promises. We fight villains and stuff. Thursday, 4.09 p.m. Laffy Taffy, I love my son and his friend. They're so sweet. A eh? sexy lady. I.K.R. They are so sweet like I can't even loudly crying face. S.C.R.E.M. Why are you both all of a sudden exclaiming this? Laffy Taffy. Because look. Divided by divided by Laffy Taffy attached an image of her son and his friend passed out on the couch cuddling both of them are covered in what looked like paint. Nimari is in the background slightly blurred as she takes pictures. A hey, sexy lady. My two adorable boys loudly crying face loudly crying face loudly crying face smiling face with hard eyes smiling face with hard eyes smiling face with hard eyes sparkling heart sparkling heart sparkling heart. Laffy Taffy. They're so small and cute and dumb. Space is cool. Should you really be saying that about your kid and his friend? Flaming trash. As a fellow parent, I do that same thing with my two eldest sons. It comes with being a parent. Chicken wings. Really? A eh, sexy lady. Yeah lol. Laffy taffy. Yeah paha face with tears of joy face with tears of joy face with tears of joy. Flaming trash. Totally. My wife is nodding along over my shoulder. Gremlin mummy. I remember my dad saying they did the same thing. Human polygraph. I also remember your parents saying they did. S-C-R-E-M. Yeah ho mao. Chicken wings. Oh okay lol. Catch o. I'm sure Shouta would do it with karma. Gremlin mummy. What? S-C-R-E-M. O-M-G-L-M-A-O. Human polygraph. H-O-H-A. 
Kitty kitty. So true. Howdy partner. Would that make me an uncle? Gremlin mummy. I am so confused. S-C-R-E-M. Don't worry about it shoe. It's not that important. Gremlin mummy. If you say so. Chicken wings. I just noticed that the black hair kid is subtling flipping off the camera loudly crying face loudly crying face loudly crying face. A sexy lady. The fucking course he is. That brat. Laffy Taffy. Call me. That kid. SMH. Gremlin mummy. I would probably do the same if someone was trying to sneak a photo of me. Laffy Taffy. Well you're you. A sexy lady. And Suzu Suzu. Laffy Taffy. Point taken. That boy's unhinged. Chicken wings. He can't be that bad. A sexy lady. Divided by divided by a sexy lady attached a video of the black-haired teen walking up to slug. He crouches down close to the slug. He makes a loud sucking noise close to the slug. He turns to the camera and says in a demonic voice they call me the slug sucker. Off camera you can hear a clearly disturbed person say. What the foo? The video cuts off before they can finish. Chicken wings. Point taken. Laffy Taffy. It's the ADHD in him. Chicken wings. As someone with ADHD. Understandable. S-C-R-E-M. You'll have ADHD. Chicken wings. Yup. Found out like a year or so ago. D. Honestly, it makes so much sense now that I think about it. It explains so much. Gremlin mummy. I bet it did. It was the same for my autism diagnosis. S-C-R-E-M. Did they put you on any meds? Chicken wings. They tried to. But I ended up all sluggish and weird and made it hard to do hero work so they took me off it. Catch L. Makes sense. Chicken wings. Yup. Friday. 5.34 p.m. A. Sexy lady. Quick. Which dress looks best on me? Divided by divided by a sexy lady has attached an image of her standing in front of a mirror, posing in a black, floor-length dress with a slit down the side. Divided by divided by a sexy lady has attached an image of her standing in front of a mirror, posing in a dark red dress that goes down to just above her knee. Divided by divided by a sexy lady has attached an image of her standing in front of a mirror, posing in a dark blue mid-shin length, flowy dress. Be honest this is very important. Catch L. You look great in all of them. A sexy lady. That's very sweet, but which is the best? I still need to do my makeup so chop chop. Catch L. I can't choose. A. Sexy lady. Come on T-E-N-S-E-I. Catch L. You look good in all of them. Karma. What's the event? Why are you dressing up? A. Sexy lady. It's for date night at a very fancy restaurant. I silenced Emmy's notifications but I don't know how long it'll go unnoticed. So be quick. Flaming trash. I'm sure joke will like you no matter what dress you wear. Karma. Shut the fuck up Todoroki. Flaming trash. Yes sir. Karma. Don't wear the red dress. It makes you look like a slut. The dark blue one looks great on you. But it's way too similar to your hair. So def go with the black one. It makes you very elegant. A sexy lady. Thank you karma. Normally I would ask Shu this kind of thing. But he's on a mission suo. Now I know who to got to when I need a second opinion on fashion. Thank you so much sparkling heart. Karma. Of course. Have fun on the date. A sexy lady. Thank you 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 you. Friday. 8.09 p.m. Laffy Taffy. Nemi you sneaky little bastard face with tears of joy face with tears of joy face with tears of joy rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing. A. Sexy lady. Red heart red heart red heart red heart sparkling 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 heart two hearts two hearts two hearts two hearts two hearts two hearts smiling face with heart eye smiling face with heart eyes 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 face blowing a kiss 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 Saturday 202 p.m. Karma. I just got a package with hearing aids in them and I have a feeling that it is from a person in this chat gorilla frog face dashing away cat face bust and silhouette sparkles. S-C-R-E-M. It was me. I hope you don't mind. Nedzu helped me get them to you. Karma. You didn't have to do that. It had to be so much money. God. It actually cost barely anything. Power Loader made them himself too. Diggy diggy mole mole man. You're welcome dude. Karma. How will I even pay you back? S-C-R-E-M. With your presence grinning squinting face grinning face with big eyes beaming face with smiling eyes sparkling heart. Karma. His a she is I. S-C-R-E-M. Stop whining already and try them out. God. I put detailed instructions in the package so you know how to put them in. Karma. I noticed. I'm gonna start putting them in now. Saturday. 2.41 p.m. S-C-R-E-M. Karma. Dude are you okay? Karma. I forgot what it was like to hear properly. Fuck. I have no idea how to explain how I'm feeling right now. I'm just so happy. Thank you so much. I'll finally be able to hear myself sing again. Thank you so fucking much. You have no idea how much this means to me. S-C-R-E-M. Of course karma. I know how upsetting it can be not to be able to hear the things and people you love. It's truly heartbreaking. 
Sparkling heart sparkling heart sparkling heart. Diggy diggy mole mole man. Glad I could be a part of bringing you that joy. God, I am also glad I was able to assist in bringing you some joy. Karma, thank you so much. This means so so much to me. I do not say blah blah blah. I don't see why you're reacting like this. They are just hearing aids. It's not that big of a deal. Karma, I haven't been able to hear properly in years now. S-C-R-E-M. Being able to hear after so many years of not being able to hear of barely being able to hear is a big deal. Howdy partner. Go suck a dick Vlad and let Karma enjoy his gift without your bitch ass comments. Your opinions are trash anyway. Diggy diggy mole mole man. Preach. Tuesday. 1.05 am. Karma. Honestly. I have a lot of trauma and I'm like really starting to unpack it. Tuesday. 4.07 am. Karma. That was just a moment of weakness. Fuck bitches get money. Tuesday. 6.09 am. Gremlin mummy. Kid with the fucking hell. Chicken wings. That is honestly kinda concerning grinning face with sweat downcast face with sweat. Karma. Gremlin mummy. Don't delete the fucking evidence brat. Karma. I don't know what you're talking about frog face gorilla dashing away cat face bust in silhouette. Gremlin mummy. Don't gaslight me. I have screenshots. Chicken wings. Me too. Karma. Shit. Private chat between gremlin mummy and karma. Tuesday. 6.16am. Karma. What do I have to do to get you to delete those screenshots? Gremlin mummy. Let me ask two questions. Karma. Two questions can go a long way, but fine. Ask away. Gremlin mummy. What's your living situation like? Karma. It's a meh. Much better than it used to be. Still rough though. Gremlin mummy. Do you need any help at all? Karma. I don't think so. I mean it's rough but it's doable. Gremlin mummy. Divided by divided by gremlin mummy attached a video of him deleting the screenshots. My spouses and I are willing to help if you need it. Karma. That's very nice of you. But I don't want to bother you. Gremlin mummy. You wouldn't be bothering us. We want to help. Private chat between chicken wings and karma. Tuesday, 6.25 am. Karma. What do I need to do to get you to delete those photos? Chicken wings. Let me think. Oh, get on call with me. Karma. Are you sure? You do know that if you are a spotlight hero, I could identify your voice and guess who you are right. Chicken wings. Sure. But I'll get to hear your voice so win-win. Karma. Okay. Call me when you want to. Also, after the call I want evidence you deleted those screenshots. Chicken wings started a call with karma. Divided by divided by divided by divided by divided by. Despite knowing that he was going to get a call it still gave Izuku a heart attack when his phone rang. Don't judge him. His little social anxiety filled heart can't handle phone calls. Phone calls lead to him having to talk to someone without knowing what emotion their face was making. He had to rely on their voice and boy oh boy could he not fucking do that. But still he had to answer the phone. He needed to make sure chicken wings deleted those photos. Izuku picks up the phone. That took you a long time. The voice on the other end laughs. Izuku knew who they were instantly. Motherfucking hawks. He groans flopping back on his bed and dropping his phone on his chest. Oh my goodness, Izuku sighs. You're goddamned fucking hawks. You couldn't have made this at least a little hard for me. Hawks gives a shocked laugh. Sorry, he offers in response. To be honest I didn't think you would be able to identify me that easily just by my voice. Well, you talk a lot so it's not hard. Izuku grumbles still bitter about how easy it was. Your ego is fucking gargantuan. They're both quiet as they process what Izuku had just said. After it seems to suddenly sink in very loud chaos erupted, Hawks bursts into very loud laughter as Izuku stumbles over himself as his brain spits out apologizes faster than his mouth could move. Hawks choked on his laughter as Izuku seemed to be making unintelligible noises rather than actual words. Dude, dude chill. Chill out man, Hawks says through his laughter. It's fine. I'm not mad at you. That shuts up Izuku for just a few moments. I'm so sorry, Izuku mumbles. That was really rude. Bruh, I don't care, Hawks states with a chuckle. It's nice to speak to me like that instead of the usual fawning or all the other ways people speak to me. It's refreshing. Keep doing it. Oh, Izuku squeaks. No one has ever actually said that to him. They normally yelled at him and told him to shut up before they made him or something similar. He learned to keep his mouth shut a long time ago. I'm just gonna be straight with you man, Hawk says. You sound kinda young for someone who everyone in the group chat has mutually agreed is in college. I can say the same for you, Izuku states. For a man the commission keeps saying is 25 you sound like you're fucking 16. Silence on the other end. Izuku's brain stalled. He wouldn't put it past the commission to lie about Hawk's age. They have lied about so many other things. And Izuku couldn't ever remember ever seeing Hawk's age in his secret true file in the commission's locked files. You're not actually 16, right? Izuku says desperately. Oh Kami, you're actually 16 aren't you? I hate the fucking hero commission. Please don't tell anyone. Hawks groans his voice was muffled so he probably had his face buried in something. I won't. And to make you believe it, my actual age is 14. 
Izuku says sliding off his bed and walking over to his very expensive and very not stolen laptop, definitely not stolen. He looks through the files he had copied onto his laptop from the Hero Commission's shit. He pulls up Hawk's file. If I ever say your true age, you say my true age, deal. Deal, Hawk says with a chuckle. We can be the buddies who lied about their ages. I technically haven't said how old I am. You all just assume I'm in college and I have yet to correct you, Izuku points out. He scrolls through the file until he finds Hawk's real name. You yourself have actively lied and said you were 25. Oh, Hawks mumbles. He sounds really upset. Don't beat yourself up about it though, Izuku says quickly. I'll bet my soul on the fact that it's definitely the commission forcing you to do it. The commission is full of assholes. It is, Hawks mumbles sounding tired. I have a very important question, Izuku says leaning back in his chair and staring at Hawks real name. Hit me, Hawks says. Izuku can hear him clap his hands and rubs them together. Do you know your real name? Izuku asks. If not, I am officially pulling back out those old plans of taking down the commission and refining them then sending them to Nezu to refine them even more. Because that is so fucking wrong. Hawks is silent for a very long time. Izuku's heart sinks the longer the silence goes on. I don't. Hawks says very quietly. Izuku sighs quietly. This poor guy. Do you want to know it? Izuku asks softly, kindly. Yes, Hawks says desperately. Okay, it's Takami Keigo. Izuku says instantly. Takami, Keigo, Hawks says slowly, carefully. I like it. It's a nice name, Izuku agrees. Do you want me to call you Takami? No, call me Keigo, Keigo says. You gave me my name again. I think that makes you deserving of calling me by my given name. Izuku beams. Then call me Izuku, that's my given name. Thank you so much, Izuku, Keigo says. Izuku thinks he sounds happy when he says that. This was honestly not what I expected from this call. Izuku chuckles lightly. Me either. I just expecting to be convincing you to delete the screenshots. Write the screenshots. Keigo exclaims. I'll send the proof that I deleted them right now. Thanks, Keigo. Izuku smiles. You know, Keigo says absent-mindedly. Your voice is kinda like Aizawa's. What do you mean? Izuku asks eyebrows furrowing in confusion. It doesn't really change. It's monotone, Keigo says. I mean it's nowhere as deep and dead as his, but you convey literally no emotion in your voice. Oh, Izuku mumbles. Usually, I try to add more emotion to my voice when I'm out, so I don't freak people out. It doesn't freak me out, so you don't have to do that, Keigo states. Keigo laughs. Man, just another thing that makes you guys similar. I swear to fucking god, Izuku groans. Don't tell Snipe he'll add it to that stupid list he's making. Wait, you know howdy partner is Snipe. Keigo exclaims. Since when? Since yesterday. Izuku says shrugging. He only realizes that Keigo can't see it after he does it. I figured it out in class. It's how he talks. Also his name. Oh and the fact that I was doing some light hacking and found the old version of the group chat. Okay, yeah that makes sense. Keigo laughs. I know right. Izuku giggles. Who are you going to try and figure out next? Keigo asks curiously. Probably Nimiri, Izuku says. I'm not sure how I'll go about that one yet, but I'll figure it out. You're really smart I'm sure you'll get it in no time. Keigo exclaims. Thank you, Izuku chuckles. He pauses for a moment debating on whether or not he should ask any of the questions that his brain is begging that he ask Hawks. On one hand, Izuku has wanted answers to these questions forever. On the other hand though, Izuku has been told more times that he could count that his questions are creepy and told to shut up whenever he so much as looked like he was going to speak. But Keigo did seem like he would be one to do that. But then again, his mother didn't seem like one to do that either. But his thirst for knowledge was demanding he ask his questions. Maybe if he asked Keigo. Yeah, he'll ask Keigo. I don't mind if you ask me questions, Keigo suddenly says. Shit, he was mumbling again. He really needed to get that under control. It's really creepy. I don't think it's creepy, Keigo says cheerfully. It's rather interesting to see how your brain works, even though some of the things you said were rather concerning. But we'll get into that another time. So, the questions, what do you want to ask? Right. You can use and manipulate your feathers, right? Izuku starts off. So, I was wondering if you just have infinite feathers or if you have a set amount of feathers. If it's a set amount of feathers how many feathers do you have? If you've counted them. If a feather gets destroyed, do you lose that feather forever or does it grow back after some time? How far can your feathers go away from you until you lose control? Oh, I noticed that you can turn your feathers into swords. You also only use two at a time. Can you only manipulate those two feathers to make them sharper, or can you do more? If you can that would be very useful. Imagine if you manipulated multiple feathers to become sharp and had the floating around you all menacingly and shit. That would be totally badass. Oh, and since your quirk is an avian type quirk, do you have enhanced sight? And do you have weaker bones because of this as well? Okay, damn, one moment please, Kago says. I do not have infinite feathers, I'm pretty sure I have 70 or so. If I lose a feather, like it gets destroyed or something, it takes one to two days to grow back. 
I'm not quite sure how far my feathers can go away from me. I've never really had to do that before, though I will test it for you. You've got me curious about that now. I can sharpen more feathers. I just tend not to do that unless I absolutely have to. I do have enhanced sight. It's even better because I'm a hawk. And honestly having weaker bones would explain why I break so many bones. Izuku sits dazed for a second. Dazed over the fact that hawks kept up with his mumble rant and actually answered his questions. Izuku is quick to write all of that down in his notebook. This was also amazing. It's like a dream come true. To be honest, Izuku could have guessed around the amount of feathers had, considering he could have used a hawk or something similar as an example, but he just wanted to be sure that he got an exact amount for Keigo not some random bird. And the fact that he could sharpen all his feathers is just amazing. Keigo truly had such an amazing quirk. I'm surprised you kept up with my mumbling, Izuku says sheepishly. I'm normally pretty quiet and fast. I have good hearing, and I wrote it all down, Keigo laughs slightly. Hey, want so cool information about my quirk? Izuku immediately straightens. Yes, I can use one of my feathers to distinguish sounds from the minute it changes in the air, which makes me able to decode conversations and vocal information from sensing the vibrations, Keigo says excitedly, especially after leaving the room or increasing the distance. That's so cool. Izuku gushes. That would make you such a good spy. And even better yet if you hide the feather well enough nobody would ever know you even heard them. You have got to know some good gossip. I do, Keigo says in a sing-song voice. He's quiet for a moment before groaning in annoyance. But those stories will have to wait for another time. Izuku's slightly shocked by the sudden mood change. What happened? The group chat is blowing my phone up. Keigo grumbles. I have like so many notifications. Oh shoot, that fucking sucks ass man. Izuku says blankly. You sounded so sarcastic when saying that, Keigo mumbles. I wonder why. Izuku smirks. Snarky fucker, Keigo grumbles. You told me you wanted me to be like this, Izuku points out. I know, and I still do, Keigo sighs. Then don't complain, Izuku says adding cheer into his voice. Keigo sits in shocked silence for a little. Izuku can hear him making weird noises on the other end of the phone. Dude that's honestly weirder than you having a monotone voice, Keigo states sounding disturbed. Izuku laughs. Good to know. Hey, we just got it at in the group chat, Keigo states. That's probably our quet to end the call and go back to the group chat, Izuku sighs. Probably, Keigo groans. Talk to you in the group chat. Izuku smiles. Talk to you in the group chat. Divided by divided by divided by divided by divided by. Private chat between Chicken Wings and Karma. Tuesday, 7.01 am. Chicken Wings ended a call with Karma. Chicken's Wings. Wait, hold on a sec before we go to the GC. Karma. K. Chicken Wings changed Karma's name to Zuzu Chan. Zuzu Chan. Bruh. You did not. Chicken Wings. I did beaming face with smiling eyes. Zuzu Chan. Fine. Be that way. Zuzu Chan. Change Chicken Wings name to KK Nai Chan. KK Nai Chan. N-I-I-C-H-A-N. That is sweet, embarrassing and terrifying all mix into one horrifying bundle. Zuzu Chan. Sparkles fuck you sparkles. KK Nai Chan. Bruh I can't with you loudly crying face. Zuzu Chan. Gonna have to deal with it. You're my Nai Chan now. Tuesday, 640. I do not say blah blah blah. I've been needing to get this off my chest for a while now and I'm just going to say it. Hey, sexy lady. Are you going to apologize for being a bitch lol? Laffy Taffy. Rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing. I do not say blah blah blah. I do not understand why people use they, them pronouns. And I don't understand why people think Aizawa is a man, she is a woman it is in her biology. Human polygraph. I really hope you take that back right fucking now or else we're going to have a huge fucking problem asshole. Howdy partner. What the fuck did you just call Shu Kun? Laffy Taffy. Bitch what? I do not say blah blah blah. Also, I don't understand these names. They don't make sense and they just seem stupid. Catch L. I happen to love the names asshole. Laffy Taffy. Me too. These names are the bomb pouting face pouting face pouting face. Flaming trash. Yeah fuck off you dickwad. Human polygraph. Fuck the law. I'm going to kill him. And then all those fuckers who wronged karma. I don't give a fuck anymore. This bitch took my last fuck. Howdy partner. Mine too, and I'm usually mighty patient. Let's kill a bitch. Flaming trash. Damn, I have to agree though. Everything said by the bloody bitch is totally wrong. Eraserhead is one of the most manly man I've met. He is not a she and never will be so back the fuck up. Catch out. At karma and at chicken wings you two might want to come here. Human polygraph. Yes. At karma and at chicken wings help me. Howdy. And Todoroki kill a bitch. Flaming trash. Okay, yeah, guess I'm killing today. Wasn't in the plan, but I'm fine with that. I do not say blah blah blah. That is very unprofessional of you three. You are heroes and a police officer respectively. Chicken wings. What's happening? Karma. Who we killing? 
Chicken wings. Viramal. I don't think you should be coming into a GC asking who we're killing. Karma. Hey, if Naomasa wants to kill a bitch and Todoroki and Howdy are agreeing then there's a good as hell reason and I will help. Human polygraph. I do have a damn good reason. And I do not say blah 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 his fucking misgendering shoe on fucking purpose. And he won't stop. Flaming trash. Greta asshole. Howdy partner. Perfect murder victim. Chicken wings. He did fucking what? Karma. Give me his real name. Hell even just his hero name would work. That's all I fucking need to get his IP, his address, his email, anything we need to end this man. Chicken wings. And boy will karma have a good ass fucking plan. And we won't get caught. Human polygraph. Great. Flaming trash. Someone. Name. Now. God. I believe this is a good time to step in. Karma. CW. Sukachi. Flaming. Howdy. You will not be murdering this man. I do not say blah blah blah. Thank you Nedzu. I hope you make sure you punish these men accordingly. God. Oh no. They will not be getting punished. You will Vlad King. I do not take lightly to my personal student being misgender. You have disappointed me. Karma. Fucking Vlad King. Nedzu you certainly didn't give me his hero name on accident. What do you want me to do? God, find everything bad on him you possibly can. Goodbye Vlad King. I do not say blah blah blah. What? Karma. Bye bitch. Rot in fucking hell. Karma has kicked and blocked I do not say blah blah bay from we fight villains and stuff. Laffy Taffy. That was honestly badass karma. Good on you. God, you bypass my programming, congratulations. I wasn't aware you did it. Karma. I know. God, I must apologize. I wasn't aware that Vlad would be a problem or else he never who have been in this group chat. Chicken wings. Like you said, you weren't aware that he was like that. If you were, I'm sure he never would have made it into this chat. Private chat between Gremlin Mummy and Karma. Tuesday, 7.35 am. Karma. Shouta. How are you doing dude? Gremlin Mummy. Shitty. Karma. Thought so. Being misgendered sucks ass. And it hurts too. But Vlad ass an asshole and an idiot. He literally has the shittiest opinions and is one of the fakest people around. I learned that one the hard way. You shouldn't listen to any of the bullshit that leaves his mouth. You have been and always will be a man. One person is never going to change that. You have many people in your life who know you're a man and will fight anyone who disagrees. Hell, even Naomasa was ready to end Vlad ass for you. Me, Hawks, Howdy, and Todoroki too of course, but now was more of a shock. In the end, other people's opinions of you will never change who you are. You're valid man lesser than three. Gremlin Mummy. Thank you very much Karma, Jen. That's very nice of you to say. Also, I love the name you made for Vlad. Karma. Of course man. It's the truth. And I'm glad you like the name Catface Bust in Silhouette. Gremlin Mummy. Also, you know who Hawks is. Karma. Yeah lol. I heard his voice once and that was all I needed to know. I was like oh my fucking god chicken wings is Hawks. Then proceeded to say that I was upset with him for making it so easy. Gremlin Mummy. Good job, Jen. Karma. Thanks. We fight villains and stuff. Tuesday, 7.44 am. Gremlin Mummy changed Flaming Trash's name to Not Trash but still Flaming. Gremlin Mummy. Karma knows who Chicken Wings is. Howdy partner. He does. Good job partner. Catch out. Seriously? Laffy Taffy. That's sick. Beaming face with smiling eyes beaming face with smiling eyes. Karma. Yup. He's Hawks. I heard his voice when we called and that was all I needed lol. Chicken Wings. I have no regrets. D. A. Sexy lady. We're allowed to call you. Karma. I mean you can if you want to. I don't really know why you would want to do that though. Catch out. Maybe because you're awesome. Karma. And not awesome. Chicken wings. Yes you are. You had so many awesome and smart questions about my quirk. Even made me question a few things about my quirk. It was awesome to talk to you. S-C-R-E-M. I want to talk to you loudly crying face loudly crying face loudly crying face. Howdy partner. Me too. Karma. I'm really not that awesome. It was just some stupid fanboy ramble. Gremlin mummy. You are pretty cool karma. Karma. I'm boring as fuck bruh. Chicken wings. Not you're not. You're funny. Gremlin mummy. And a fucking genius. God. I must agree. You are rather smart karma. A. Sexy lady. And a sweetheart. S-C-R-E-M. And clearly kind hearted. 1. Karma. Why is this turning into a hype karma session cries? Howdy partner. Because you need some self-confidence. Gremlin mummy. Desperately. A. Sexy lady. Because you are very kind and supportive of us and you deserve kindness and support back. Not trash but still flaming. Because everybody should have some self-confidence. Karma. Not trash but still flaming. Karma are you okay? Karma. I'm fine. Just crying. Give me minute. Not trash but still flaming. Okay. Chicken wings. How can you just brush him saying he's crying off like that? Not trash but still flaming. Because sometimes the truth is a hard pill to swallow. Laffy Taffy. True. But rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing. Thursday, 4.09pm. S-C-R-E-M. 
Why is the HSCP emailing every hero to be on the lookout for a hacker, prankster and that they are to be considered a vigilante that could possibly harm the public and heroes as a whole? Laffy Taffy. I've been getting the same emails. Howdy Parner. I've been getting them too. Karma. It would appear I have potentially been too silly and or goofy for my own good. Gremlin Mummy. WTF Kid. Karma. I didn't do anything bad. All I did was go into Hawk's files and tweak some stuff. Chicken wings. What he means is he changed everything in my file to be an insult to the HSCP and now the president is pissed. He also said free the bird once. Karma. I have no regrets gorilla. God. I dealing with this interesting situation right as we speak. Karma you should not have to worry about anything by the end of the day. Karma. I wasn't worried to begin with. What are they going to do? Kill me. Chicken wings. They might honestly. Karma. They'd just be doing me a favor. Gremlin mummy. That's a concerning statement. Karma. Meh. Friday, 4.05 p.m. Human polygraph. So you know how Shu, Zashi and I run a place that gives food to troubled kids. Catch out. Yeah. Eh, sexy lady. Yes. Human polygraph. I am 99.95% sure that one of the kids that can now be considered a regular is a vigilante and one that I'm supposed to arrest. Catch out. Are you gonna arrest them? Human polygraph. Of course not. Don't ask stupid questions. Plus, I like the kid. So do Shu. And Zashi. S-C-R-E-M. I know who you're talking about. He is such a delight. Total sweetheart. Love that kid. Human polygraph. C. A. Sexy lady. Yes, I see. Gremlin mummy. Anyone arrest that kid and I'll end you. Kitty kitty. Are you talking about the kid with the really really green eyes? Human polygraph. Yes. Kitty kitty. Oh, I like that kid. He's like 100% a vigilante though. He has too many knives not to. I've even seen him with a gun. And don't get me started on the shoes that he's souped up. Oh and the fact that I've seen him throw a grown man over his shoulder into the ground right before booking it into the shelter. That child scares me. Love him though. Absolute sweetheart. A hey, sexy lady. I can tell he's a well-liked kid. So why would he be in your shelter? Gremlin mummy. The running theory is quirk discrimination. We have no idea for certain though. The whole no questions thing and all. A hey, sexy lady. You spelled certain wrong. Gremlin mummy. I honestly don't give a fuck. Laffy Taffy. Nemi you should know that Shouta doesn't care about fixing spelling when he spells something wrong. Karma. Honestly. Slay. Don't let people point out the obvious. Gremlin mummy. Thank you karma and joke. Karma. You're welcome. Saturday. 5.07 p.m. Human polygraph. You know the possible vigilante kid I told you about. A. Hey, sexy lady. Yup. Howdy partner. Yeah. Human polygraph. He came into the shelter today looking like he was beaten halfway to hell. He looks horrible. He left before I could even offer to give him something to help him. Laffy Taffy. Frowning face worried face. Catch out. You said he comes often. So maybe you could help him when he comes next time. Human polygraph. I don't want to scare him. He's very flighty. Gremlin mummy. You're right. Who do we know or at least think he likes the most? S-C-R-E-M. You babe. Human polygraph. Yeah, definitely you. Gremlin mummy. Why me? Catch out. Yeah, why him? A hey, sexy lady. I also want to know. Laffy Taffy. Me too. Chicken wings. What kid? Teen would like him. No offense Aizawa. Gremlin mummy. Non taken. I have the same questions. Human polygraph. I don't really know honestly. There's just something about you that the kid seems to like. S-C-R-E-M. I think it's because of how calm and not pushy you are. You just let the kids in the shelter be and let them come to you first. Gremlin mummy. Oh, I did not think it would be me. Catch out. Who did you think it would be? Gremlin mummy. Zashi. S-C-R-E-M. Me. Why? Gremlin mummy. Because I overheard some of the kids saying that they could tell that you have been through some of the things that they have and that they like you more because of that understanding. S-C-R-E-M. Oh they like me because of the trauma. Got it. Makes sense. Laffy Taffy. Rolling on the floor laughing 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 rolling on the floor laughing. Gremlin mummy. Neutral face. Human polygraph. Zashi oh my god. Kitty kitty. Suka just rolled his eyes so hard at his phone. I think he genuinely concerned one of the other officers. He did look like he was possessed for a second so I guess it makes sense. Howdy partner. I love you for the fact that you give us this info about Naamasa that I never knew I needed until you told me about it. A hey, sexy lady. I K R L M A O. Catch L. It just adds this sort of pizzazz and realism to it. Howdy partner. Exactly. It's enjoyable. Karma. So, back to the original topic. How to approach a traumatized child. S-C-R-E-M. Right. Thank you Karma. Karma. Of course. Chicken wings. I think it's very funny that Karma is the one putting you back on topic even though he can change topics and forget what he was originally talking about in seconds. Laffy Taffy. Karma keeping us on track. Never would have guessed. Karma. Shut up it's the ADHD. And back to the topic. 
Gremlin Mummy. I don't think there's much more we could do other than start putting free bandages and shit out for the kids to take, with a sign saying they're allowed to take the things. Karma. Yeah, kids like that are skittish one wrong move and you might never see them again. Going to them directly could end horribly and make the kid feel like they're being cornered. You just need to simply be there as like a silent offer of help. Let them come to you. Also the fact that the kid you are talking about specifically might be a vigilante might mean you need to be even more careful. You have no clue why they're a vigilante or why they need to go to your shelter in the first place. It's a tricky game you're playing honestly. Every move you make is going to have to be at least a little bit thought out. Sorry for the word vomit. Gremlin mummy. Don't worry about it. It's a true and helpful fax. S-C-R-E-M. Very helpful. Laffy Taffy. Karma you are legit so smart loudly crying face loudly crying face loudly crying face. Human polygraph. I'm honestly tempted to ask you to help out at the shelter. Karma. What is the name of your shelter? Human Polygraph. Secret Haven. It's kinda a well-hidden place so you'd really have to look for it to find it. Karma. I know that place. Someone I knew was there before he got adopted by his parents. Gremlin Mummy. Is that why you're so well-versed? Karma. One of the reasons, yeah. Private chat between KK Nai Chan and Zuzu Chan. Saturday, 5.46pm. Zuzu Chan. I have come to the horrifying realization that the kid they are talking about in the GC is in fact me. And I can confirm that I am a vigilante cat face bust in silhouette cherry blossom honey pot. KK Nai Chan. Well damn bruh face with tears of joy face with tears of joy face with tears of joy. And you were helping them, which I doubt you wanted to do. What's your vigilante name so I don't accidentally arrest you? Zuzu Chan. I don't have one. At least not that I know of. You'd have to ask Naomasa what vigilante he thinks I am. KK Nai Chan. Oh, okay. I may do that. We fight villains and stuff. Sorry. 5.59 p.m. Chicken wings. So what vigilante do you think this kid is? Human polygraph. We've just been calling him Evergreen since he has this sort of green theme going for him. The dark kind of green that you usually see on evergreen trees. Chicken wings. Oh, interesting. Karma. Evergreen's actually an awesome name bruh. Catch out. IKR. Gremlin mummy. Another reason he has the name is because every time we think he dies, he just doesn't. Chicken wings. It kinda sounds like you want him dead. Which is weird considering the glowing reviews he got before. Gremlin Mummy. I'm glad he's alive. S-C-R-E-M. I think Shu would cry if Evergreen died. Gremlin Mummy. Shut the fuck up. Karma. I think it's nice that you care. I would be a little concerned if you, as a hero, didn't care if someone died. Having empathy is a very important thing when you're hero. Empathy is what makes a hero truly good. Hey, sexy lady. You are a very smart person Karma. Karma. I'm not that smart. Hey, sexy lady. Shut the fuck up and take the compliment. Karma. Yes ma'am. Hey, sexy lady. Good choice. Laffy Taffy. He has learned face with tears of joy. Karma. You would too. Sunday, 2.03 p.m. Laffy Taffy. Sometimes I wonder is Zuzu is fucking sane. Howdy partner. Why? Laffy Taffy. Divided by divided by Laffy Taffy attached in video of a black-haired teen rolling around on the floor a book a few feet away from him. He slams his fist into the ground multiple times before going into a backbend and kicking himself up off to the floor. He stares down at the book before saying second-hand embarrassment in a very high-pitched voice. He then picks up the book and goes back to reading. The camera slowly pans to Nimari who is staring at the teen in horror then looking at the camera. Divided by divided by Laffy Taffy attached a video of Zuzu turning of a light with his foot. It was one of those lights where you have to pull the string. Divided by divided by Laffy Taffy attached a video of Zuzu and Kento in the kitchen chanting mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. As they dance around a box of Kraft mac and cheese. I think we gave him too much sugar. Howdy partner. What the fuck? Chicken wings. Kinda reminds me of someone I know. Karma. I feel that child on a spiritual level. Human polygraph. Was literally just about to say that that gives off karma vibes. Gremlin mummy. Joke. Your and Nem's child is also fucking insane so I think it's just your family. Laffy Taffy. We did not raise that child. It's not our fault he's fucking traumatized. Private chat between M and Zuzu. Sunday, 2.10 p.m. Zuzu, can stop dissing me in the chat United States. M, don't act like a psycho. We fight villains and stuff. Monday, 2.05 p.m. Karma, wait, 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 wait. Chicken wings, what are we waiting for? Gremlin mummy. Karma, I have realized something and now I feel dumb aerial tramway United States cherry blossom jack-o'-lantern frog face. Laffy Taffy. Just say it already loudly crying face. Karma. I kiss it better. Are you recovery girl? Kiss it better. I am. Karma. God I quote him idiot. Chicken wings. Not an idiot. Just oblivious. Karma. Also. At space is cool I know who you are. 13 right. Space is cool. Correct. How did you know? 
Karma, complete guess. I portrayed fake confidence to make you think I wasn't completely guessing when I said it. Laffy Taffy. Hell Malu face with tears of joy face with tears of joy face with tears of joy face with tears of joy. Sunday, 1.02 p.m. Karma changed Howdy Partner's name to Sniper No Sniping. Sniper No Sniping. What? Karma. Hello Snipe. Sniper No Sniping. Okay, that's actually fucking terrifying. How do you figure it out? Karma. I looking around some old, deleted things on Hero.net and found the old version of this GC and was able to figure out who you were before Nedzu kicked me out birthday cake United States aerial tramway. Sniper no sniping. Okay, but why did you have to tell me you knew in such a scary way? Karma. Because I know I scare you. In the same way Shouta scares you gorilla. Sniper no sniping. You know, sometimes I wish that wasn't so true. Karma. Gorilla cat face bust and silhouette cat face dragon musical notes. Sunday, 5.05 p.m. Karma. At Screm I found a song that I absolutely love and I need you to listen to it. It's called Parrot by Stepdad. S-C-R-E-M. Okay I'll listen to it. Karma. Tell me what you think. Chicken Wings. Wait hold up. That is legit my favorite song ever. Karma. Really? Chicken Wings. Yes. Karma. This is why we're friends. Chicken Wings. Cherry Blossom Smiling Face with Hard Eyes Sparkles Smiling Face with Hard Eyes Sparkling Heart Sparkling Heart Sparkling Heart Sparkling Heart Sparkling Heart Sparkling Heart Smiling Face with Hard Eyes Sparkling Heart Sparkling Heart Sparkling Heart Smiling Face with Hard Eyes Smiling Face with Hard Eyes Sparkles Cherry Blossom Cherry Blossom Two Hearts Two Hearts Two Hearts Two Hearts Two Hearts S-C-R-E-M Okay I listened to the song and it is so good. It just gives off such great vibes. Karma. It just makes you want to smile and sing along right. S-C-R-E-M. Exactly. Chicken Wings. It is literally my comfort song. Karma. It's truly a masterpiece. S-C-R-E-M. Period. Monday, 4.05 p.m. Karma. Sue. How would you say if I accidentally kidnapped someone? Gremlin Mummy. I would ask how the fuck you managed to kidnap someone accidentally. Laffy Taffy. How is that even fucking possible? Karma. So I was driving a car right. The windows were down and I was just cruising. Then suddenly the car shakes and I hear a groan from the backseat. Turns out, there was a vigilante passed out in the back of the car. That is how you accidentally kidnap someone. Gremlin mummy. Only you. Chicken wings. Did you steal a fucking car? Laffy Taffy. He definitely stole a car. S-C-R-E-M. Karma gave absolutely no indication that he stole a car grinning face with sweat. Why would you just assume he did? Chicken wings. Because I know for a fact, he does not have a license, and he knows nobody who would willing let him drive their car. So karma. I will ask again. Did. You. Steal. A car. Karma. No I actually didn't assholes. I found it in a junkyard and put it to use. Chicken wings. You are an idiot. Karma. Thank you. Now go fuck yourself. Not trash but still flaming. I have a very important question. What vigilante did you kidnap? Karma. Dab I. Why? Not trash but still flaming. Got him it. Karma. What? Not trash but still flaming. I am about to say something that can never leave this group chat. Chicken wings. I won't say a thing. S-C-R-E-M. I may be loud but I won't say a thing. Laffy Taffy. Lips sealed. I like vigilantes. God. If anyone repeats what Todoroki Khan is about to say to anyone who isn't in this chat or a trusted person then you will be deleted. S-C-R-E-M. Damn, you have Nedzu's protection. Karma. Lips sealed now spill. Not trash but still flaming. Dabai is my eldest son. He has been missing for two days. Karma. Holy fuck. Okay. Um um, what do I do now? He's in my house frog face. S-C-R-E-M. I'm so jealous that Dabai gets to meet you before any of us loudly crying face. Karma. I'm just cool like that Dabai. Not trash but still flaming. T-O-U-Y-A. Are you okay? Karma. I'm fine older man. Love the name B-T-W. Not trash but still flaming. What happened? Do you need to go to the hospital? Karma. Nah, no hospital needed. I just fought someone who had a quirk that can force someone to sleep until they're well rested. And you know how much sleep I get. I'm just glad Karma was the one who found me. Because, I was sleeping like the dead as far as I could tell. DW about me old man. Not trash but still flaming. Okay, I'm glad you're okay. Your mother wants to know if you're going to be here for dinner Saturday. Karma. Sure. Okay, I'm handing the phone over to Karma. Talk to you later pops. Not trash but still flaming. Good, by Taoya. Karma. Your son's pretty chill Todoroki. He also gave me food so that's always a win in my book Cat Face Dragon. Laffy Taffy. Face with tears of joy face with tears of joy face with tears of joy face with tears of joy. Not trash but still flaming. I'm glad you like him. Thank you for kidnapping him. A hey, sexy lady. I never thought I'd hear someone thank someone else for kidnapping their kid. Laffy Taffy. Me too rolling on the floor laughing 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 rolling on the floor laughing. 
Karma, of course. By the way, if you try to ask him what I look like I will know. Not trash but still flaming. I wasn't planning on asking at all. You deserve your privacy. Karma, thank you. You're proving why you deserve the name Todoroki. Not trash but still flaming. Thank you. Kitty kitty. Am I the only one who finds it hilarious that Karma accidentally kidnapped someone? Chicken wings. Not at all. I needed to take a minute to calm down from laughing. Kitty kitty. I think the only reason that Aizawa was able to respond so fast was because he's just learned to laugh about it later. Gremlin mummy. That. Or. The only reaction I needed was a snort. S-C-R-E-M. That's probably more realistic honestly. A. Sexy lady. Yeah lol. Friday. 4.05 p.m. God. Added one to we fight villains and stuff. Karma. Why yes s s s s Fuck yeah. Took you long enough. S-C-R-E-M. You know who that is karma. Karma. Hell yeah. I do. Karma changed one to burnt chicken nugget. Burnt chicken nugget. Go fuck yourself karma. Sincerely. For those who don't know. I'm Talia Todoroki better known as Dabai. Chicken wings. You're the vigilante karma kidnapped. H-E-Y-Y-Y-Y. Burnt chicken nugget. I honestly love how that's what I'm known for. Laffy Taffy. Sup dabs. Burnt chicken nugget. Hello joke. Space is cool. How did you know it was her? A. Sexy lady. I was wondering the same thing. Laffy Taffy. We text a lot lol. Burnt chicken nugget. We tend to bump into each other quite a lot. A. Sexy lady. Oh. Okay. Not trash but still flaming. Hello Talia. Burnt chicken nugget. Sub pops. Catch L. Welcome to chaos. I hope you enjoy your stay face with tears of joy. Burnt chicken nugget. Thank you. Glad to be here. A. Sexy lady. Congratulations. You're the first vigilante to be a part of this GC. Karma. Wrong mouth white heavy check mark eye blue heart white medium square white large square dashing away cat face dragon. Chicken wings. You always have to do this. Karma. I have to keep people on their toes. Sniper no sniping. Pardon. Diggy diggy mole mole man. A. Sexy lady. What do you mean? Kitty kitty. I'm confused. Karma. I'm considered a vigilante by many. Laffy taffy. Okay. Hold the fucking phone. What? Catch out. What? A. Sexy lady. Astonished face. Sniper no sniping. A fucking course you are. Human polygraph. I'm actually more shocked about the fact that I'm shocked. S-C-R-E-M. Tell me why I'm not surprised. Gremlin mummy. What do you mean considered? Karma. Nice catch. I didn't think anyone would notice how I worded it. I honestly should have expected you to catch that. Anyway. Legally I'm not a vigilante. Vigilantism is defined as using your quirk without a hero license. And I have never once used a quirk while fight crime and shit. Sure, I could get charged with vandalism, but that's it. I don't use excessive force, and I never attack first. It's all self-defense baby sparkles cherry blossom cat face dragon dashing away cat face bust in silhouette. Gremlin mummy. Smart move on your part. Karma. Thank you frog face. Burnt chicken nugget. Karma. Question. Do you ever have to deal with heroes who are assholes and treat you like you're the worst kind of villain? Karma. Yes. All the time. I think it's just because they're jealous that I do their job better than them. Burnt chicken nuggets. Like literally. I swear this one dude wants to kill me loudly crying face. Karma. I'll end their career if you want. Not trash but still flaming. I would end them if you want. Karma. I'm also willing to just jump to the extreme. I'm not against being viewed like a villain. Chicken wings. God. Karma as a villain would be horrifying. Catch out. For real. Laffy Taffy. I do not want to ever see Karma as a villain. Burnt chicken nugget. I have my own personal bodyguards El Mao. Karma. You very much do. Musical notes white heavy check mark cat face dragon white medium square white large square. Not trash but still flaming. Of course you do. It's called family and friends. Also probably all the regulars at your cafe. Karma. Def all the regulars at his cafe. Burnt chicken nugget. Well, I have an army. I quote him so powerful. Karma. Don't let the power get to your head because I am willing to beat your ass. Burnt chicken nugget. You can try. Karma. I can demolish you without even having to be in the same room as you. Remember the alleyway incident of 20xx. Burnt chicken nugget. Oh shit. Reunite. Karma. Exactly. Burnt chicken nugget. I am deeply sorry my lord. Karma. That's what I thought bitch. I am just as willing to beat your ass as I am to protect it. Burnt chicken nugget. Loudly crying face loudly crying face loudly crying face. Catch out. Am I the only one really curious as to what the alleyway incident of 20xx is? Laffy Taffy. No. I want to know face with tears of joy face with tears of joy face with tears of joy. Burnt chicken nugget. You do not want to know. Gremlin mummy. As a person who unwilling witnessed it, you do not want to know. Now that I know who did it, it all makes sense. Catch out. Oh okay. Space is cool. D-A-B-I. Pronouns please. Burnt chicken nugget. He, him. Thanks for asking. 
Space is cool, of course. Beaming face with smiling eyes. Burnt chicken nugget. What are your pronouns? Space is cool. Mine are they, them. Here are everyone else's. Chicken wings. Gremlin mummy. S-C-R-E-M. God. Sniper no sniping. A. Sexy lady. Human polygraph. Kiss it better. Catch out. Diggy diggy mole mole man. Karma. Kitty kitty. Not trash but still flaming. Burnt chicken nugget. Thank you. A Y O O O. True man's here. H E Y Y Y T S U K I. Human polygraph. Hello Dabai. Burnt chicken nugget. Are your spouses in this chat? Human polygraph. They are. Burnt chicken nugget. Fuck yeah. I'll get to actually talk to them after hearing so much about them. S C R E M. Now talks about us beaming face with smiling eyes beaming face with smiling eyes beaming face with smiling eyes grinning face with big eyes grinning face with big eyes grinning face with big eyes. Burnt chicken nugget. Their spouse number one. And yes, he does. A lot. It's adorable. Karma. They truly love each other. I love it for them. D. Saturday. 158 and M. Karma change not trash but still flaming's name to mature human torch. Mature human torch. Why the sudden name change change. Karma. Three words. Comic book hero. Also maybe a little bit of sleep deprivation. Chicken wings. How much have you slept in the past few days? Karma. Four-ish hours maybe. Though I'm not sure if I was actually sleeping or laying there letting my mind wander with my eyes closed. S-C-R-E-M. Karma. Go to S-L-E-E-P-P-P. Nedzu lock up Karma's phone or something. God. On it. Karma. Wait. Hold up. N-A-D-Z-U. They W-O-U-L-D and actually do that right. Gremlin mummy. They would. They've done it to me. Human polygraph. Nanzu knows sleep is important for humans so he makes sure they get that sleep. Karma. N-O-O-O. Not my phone. Karma is typing. Karma has logged off. God. Done. S-C-R-E-M. Thank you. Burnt chicken nugget. Damn. Tuesday. 4.05 p.m. Karma. Do you ever wanna just... Ike. Kill ableists. Mature human torch. That's illegal. Burnt chicken nugget. I'm willing to. For you. Chicken wings. Me as well. Laffy Taffy. I would be too. A. Sexy lady. You guys are feral. Gremlin mummy. As an autistic person who has to deal with ableist shit a lot in the hero industry, yes, all the time. Karma. Good to know I'm not alone. Because I feel like throwing my dreams and all hopes I have at a future out the window and going to jail. Burnt chicken nugget. Who do we need to kill? Karma. No one. Stop. God. How about you don't go to jail? Gremlin mummy. Yeah kid. We've talked about not getting caught. S-C-R-E-M. Ignoring that rather concerning statement from my husband. Why do you want to murder ableists? Karma. Cause some idiots in my class are being assholes to me because they think I'm autistic and they keep throwing slurs at me. To be fair I pretty sure I am autistic. But still, they shouldn't be throwing slurs at me. It's rather rude if I do say so myself. Gremlin mummy. It is rude. Throw them in a river. Karma. I wish I could. But even though I am working out, I am still a noodle and they scare the shit out of me too much to even think about it. Burnt chicken nugget. You are very much not a noodle. Karma. Yeah. But this dude would be way too heavy to pick up. Dabai. I am thinking of villain you beat the ass of in 5 seconds that would probably scare the shit out of any sensible hero. Karma. I'm not a hero though nor am I sensible. Gremlin mummy. Fine then. Stab them. You don't need that much strength to stab a person. A. Eh? Sexy lady. Chew. Dear. Honey. Baby boy. You should not be condoning murder. Especially not encouraging it. You two Dabai, Emmy and Hawks. Gremlin mummy. Why not? They were being fucking assholes. A. Sexy lady. If someone was doing that stuff to you, you would roll your eyes and walk away, not murder them. So what changed? Catch out. Karma. S-C-R-E-M. Karma. Diggy diggy mole mole man. It's definitely karma. Burnt chicken nugget. I haven't been here long but I can already say karma. Laffy taffy. Karma 100%. Chicken wings. Aizawa would kill for karma and encourage karma to kill for himself. And he knows that both Yamada and Tsukachi would make sure they both don't go to jail. Not trash but still flaming. Hawks, you would also kill for karma. Chicken wings. Well of course. Karma. Yo. Gremlin mummy. I need everyone to shut the fucking hell up. Karma. I agree with Shouta. Shut the fuck up. Chicken wings. Are you embarrassed karma? Karma. I will not hesitate to shove your head in a meat grinder. Chicken wings. I believe you. Karma. So shut the fuck up. Laffy Taffy. Flushed face. Wednesday, 11.40 p.m. Karma. I am very in tune with my emotions. I'm pretty good at sharing them sometimes. But as soon as I put my heart and soul into words in my journal or some shit and say every deep feeling I feel, and I really show who I am, no one and I mean no one is gonna see that shit. No one is ever going to see the things that truly matter because that means I'm opening myself up to be judged. That they could see who I am as a person and decide that I'm not worth it or they don't want me around anyone. 
I am a broken fucked up human being and no one is ever going to see how true that statement is. Gremlin mummy. Should I be concerned that you're sending this at 11.40pm on a weekday? Karma. Probably, but you don't have to be. S-C-R-E-M. Karma. Sweetie. Karma. I'm fine, just need some sleep. Laffy Taffy. Then sleep bruh. Burnt chicken nugget. Honestly same, but I'm patrolling now so it has to wait. Chicken wings. Sleep that I doubt you'll actually get. Karma. Oh fuck off. I have insomnia. Sleeping is hard. At least I'm going to try. Though I'm pretty sure I'll just be up most of the night. Private chat between KK Nai Chan and Zuzu Chan. Wednesday, 11.55pm. KK Nai Chan. Are you out vigilanting right now? Zuzu Chan. Yeah, I just saw you and flipped you off. KK Nai Chan. You bitch. Zuzu Chan. I'm joking. I'm actually in my bed. Divided by divided by Zuzu Chan. Has attached an image of himself from his waist down. He was laying on his bed. He's flipping off the camera. KK Nai Chan. Fuck you. But also good. When I get home, which will be in a few seconds, I'm going to call you. Zuzu Chan. Okay. KK Nai Chan. Has started a call with Zuzu Chan. Hello? Izuku says instantly after picking up the call. Hey Izu. Keigo says brightly drawing out the last part of Izu. Izuku hear the exhaustion mixed in with the joy in Keigo's voice. Izuku feels bad for the bird boy. The commission is probably making him do too many patrols in a row. Not many people can pull of the lifestyle that Izuku and Shouta have. That lifestyle being staying up for most of the night, going home, sleeping, and then going to work, school respectively. It's a difficult lifestyle to pull off. You sound tired, Izuku states. He puts his phone of speaker and places it on his bed. I've noticed you've been doing a lot of day and night patrols recently. Do I need to do something about it? Like I don't know, destroy the commission for overworking you. You know I will. Keigo lets out an amused chuckle. No, it's fine, no need to destroy them. Though I wouldn't mind some pranks on them. Keigo pauses a moment, thinking. You would destroy the commission for a piece of gum dumbass. Izuku glares down at his phone. It was true but that didn't mean it needed to be pointed out. I can prank them for you. Why did you call me by the way? Right, Keigo exclaims. Izuku can hear slightly frantic shuffling on the other end of the call then a loud thump of a body on a mattress. Keigo is slightly winded when he speaks again. Let's do a sleep call. What? Izuku asks bewildered. What do you mean? I mean we stay on call until morning, maybe even with some sleeping. Izuku furrows his eyebrows as he stares down at the phone in bewilderment. You know I have insomnia and usually, more than likely, get less than four hours of sleep a night. There will be very little sleep in this sleep call. I know. That's the point. I don't think I'm going to get much sleep tonight either. So I figured if you weren't going to get much sleep either we might as well not be miserable and lonely. There's what sounds like Keigo jumping up and down on what Izuku assumes is a bed. Keigo must be very excited for this. Izuku smiles and pulls his legs into crisscross applesauce and rests his elbows on his knee. Okay, I understand your logic, Izuku says. I don't see why we can't do that. Yeah. Izuku lets out his own breathy laugh Keigo's excitement. He liked to imagine that Keigo threw his hands up when he did that, because he's seen the older teen do that before when he got really excited. I have a question. It can be out first conversation topic, Keigo says quickly. Will I ever be able to see what you look like? Yeah, sure. I didn't know you wanted to see what I look like. Keigo makes an offended noise as a dull slap sounds through the calls. If Izuku had to guess it was Keigo slapping his hand on his chest. Because you're awesome. I've been dying to know what you look like. I just didn't want to be rude and ask. So, what changed? What made you ask just now? Izuku questions. I'm sleep deprived and not think super straight. Izuku laughs lightly. That checks out. I'll put us on video call and turn on a light. Izuku leans over to his lamp on the floor beside his mattress and flips it on. It blinks slightly before turning on. Izuku freezes, thinking that he just got himself stuck hanging off his. He struggles a moment before pushing himself up off the floor. That did not need to be as much as a struggle as it was. Keigo groans, sounding very impatiently. Izuku huffs and rolls his eyes. Give me a moment. Come on dude. Hurry up. Keigo says. It can't take this long to turn on a light. Izuku rolls his eyes once more. Oh, shut up. Izuku fumbles around with his phone for a moment before turning on video call. My lamp is a very shitty lamp. Keigo stares at Izuku through the phone, his eyes narrowed as he takes in his friend's face. Izuku does the same to Keigo. The other team looked strange. Well it wasn't really strange, just different from what Izuku was used to seeing. As it turns out, Keigo looked different without all the makeup he puts on to make himself look older. His features were softer, more boyish, and he no longer had any facial hair. The second one was honestly a shock. It actually never crossed Izuku's mind that the facial hair could be fake. I didn't know your facial hair was fake. Izuku blurts out at the same time Keigo shouts, You look like a fucking baby. 
Izuku takes a moment to process what Keigo had just said before giving his friend the most unimpressed look he could manage. Well thanks, I never knew, Izuku drawls. Also, you could have worded that so much better. Why not well? You look so young Zuku. Not you look like a fucking baby. A deep blush covers Keigo's cheeks and ears. Sorry, I just wasn't expecting you to look like you were 10 or something when you're actually 14. Izuku shrugs. You look a lot younger too. A bright smile spread across Keigo's face. The powers of some good old makeup. I do it myself. Izuku tilts his head slightly. Really, I can do makeup too. Keigo practically jumps as he grabs his phone from where it was resting against something in front of him. He pulls the phone a little too close to his face. Izuku leans away from his phone. Seriously, Keigo says his face lighting up with excitement. Why did you learn? Izuku shifts uncomfortably. To cover up some things I didn't want people to see. Injuries, among other things. Yes, Izuku agrees with a nod of his head. Keigo looks a little hesitant as he asks, Mind if I ask what other things? To make myself look younger, Izuku says. It's why I look so young right now. I haven't taken the makeup off yet. Keigo laughs at that. We wear makeup for opposite reasons. Why do you want to look younger? So, people underestimate me, Izuku says. If they underestimate me it gives me the upper hand. Makes it easier to get away from it or win whatever fight I'm in. Keigo nods his head. Smart. You're really smart you know. Shut up. I'm not that smart. Don't say that bullshit. You're probably one of the smartest people I know. Keigo exclaims. You're also the only person I know to have such low self-esteem. You know, once you gain some confidence, you would be so fucking badass. And I bet you would be super snarky and sassy. Izuku rolls his eyes and sighs, but doesn't comment. I know you disagree with me, but you're like awesome. Keigo beams. I mean your analysis on my quirk was awesome. I honestly want to see you do one on someone else's quirk. Give me a quirk and I could analyze it if you want. Izuku offers eagerly. He would honestly take any opportunity to analyze a quirk. Okay, do Aizawa sans. Then you could send your analysis to him. I actually have a lot of theories on his quirk, Izuku says excitedly. Okay, for a person who has been patrolling with him as a racer head this is months of theories building up. We all know how his hair and scarf float when his quirk is active. At first, I thought the scarf just had some sort of technology in it that allowed it to sense and respond to the brainwaves. But after Steel, borrowing a sample of the scarf I realized that was not true. Then I dug through some files and figured out that Shouter rejected the idea of having nanofibers so into it saying simply that he didn't need it to use it. And no one even questioned it. He also rejected it because, and I quote why the fuck would I pay for that shit, I'm not a fucking billionaire you money leeching ass. That last part was on the record. And I find that fact that someone actually wrote all that down hilarious. Kago laughs loudly leaning backwards and throwing his head back as he did. That sounds like something Aizawa-san would say. I know right. Anyway, after that, I needed more ways to explain why Shouta is able to control the scarf the way he is. And this is where his hair comes in. Izuku's phone was now resting on his desk, facing the center of Izuku's living room. Izuku himself was pacing around the room. He was energetically waving his hands around a bright smile on his face. Izuku whips to face his phone. No one knows why his hair floats. All the records I've found on his quirk from when he was younger all brushed it off as a side effect of his quirk. A way to keep his vision clean so he could see the people he was trying to erase the quirk of. And while that would make sense, I think there's more to it. You see, there is this sort of red glow around anything of Shouta's that floats, the roots of his hair and around his scarf anywhere it's flying off to. So, what would you say if the floating hair and red, glowing eyes aren't just some random side effect, but a key part of his quirk? Izuku was now bouncing a little as he moved around his room, his hands flapping in front of him happily. Keigo smiled at the sight. And also the fact that Izuku looked kind of insane as he talked. There are many cases of secondary quirks, Izuku states. So, what if that's what Shouta has? A secondary quirk of telekinesis. The physical embodiment of the quirk would be the red glow. It would explain the floating hair, why he's able to use his scarf the way he does, and why sometimes the top of his hero costume floats, too. And if this is all true, then maybe if he starts to acknowledge it as a secondary quirk, he could train it, make himself able to float things outside of things that touch his body, maybe even float knives. Izuku forces himself to calm down a little. He was a little loud to the end. Obviously this all theory, and I'm not sure I'll ever be able to prove it. Keigo furrows his eyebrows and gives Izuku a strange look. Why wouldn't you be able to confirm it? Because of Shouta himself, Izuku states. I'm not sure he'd like to accept the fact that he would have a secondary quirk that would have made it so he would have gone through less discrimination. It would make it seem like he went through everything he did for no reason at all. I would feel the same if I suddenly got a quirk right now. Oh, yeah, that would make sense, Keigo says. You are literally so smart. And that analysis was literally the bestest. I don't think bestest is a word, but slay, Izuku says shrugging. Keigo bursts into loud laughter. 
What? Izuku asks confused and worried. Had he said something stupid enough that Keigo found it funny? What's funny? The way you said Slay is literally the best. That just makes Izuku even more confused. How did I say Slay? You said it in the most deadpan, devoid of emotions way. Keigo cackles he falls sideways and out of the frame. Oh, Izuku says slowly. That's the autism. That just seems to send Keigo into another round of laughter. This time though, Keigo's laughter sends him falling out of his bed and onto the floor. Holy shit. Izuku laughs as he waits for Keigo to pull himself back onto his bed. I want you and Aizawa to meet in real life, Keigo says once he resituates himself. I think you two would really enjoy each other's company and humor. We already get along. I don't think that would change if we transferred from online to IRL. You're probably right, to be honest. I know I am, Izuku states with a smirk. Oh, fuck off, Keigo rolls his eyes. Can I ask you to analyze another hero's quirk? Yes, Izuku yells immediately. And that's how Izuku and Keigo found themselves spending the rest of their night. Izuku would ramble on about hero's quirks and Keigo would happily listen, adding input every now and again. Eventually around 4 or 5 am, they were both passed out, the phone call still going. Thursday, 6.04 am. Karma. I slept great last night oh mao. Chicken wings. No you fucking didn't. We were up until 4 am idiot. Karma. And now I'm living with the consequences. I have to go to school too honey pot. Chicken wings. This is what we get for being idiots. I don't regret it though. Karma. Me either lol. It was nice to tell someone my analysis. Chicken wings. It was nice to hear it. You should tell Aizawa your analysis on him. Karma. I'm not sure he wants to hear that. Gremlin mummy. I do. Tell me now. Karma. Are you sure? Gremlin mummy. Yes. Karma. Okay. Thursday, 6.11am. A sexy lady. Whatever this is, is taking a shit ton of time to type. Chicken wings. It's honestly probably three paragraphs lol. A sexy lady. I don't think I believe you. Burnt chicken nugget. I believe you I've seen the analysis in person. Laffy Taffy. I guess we'll see then. Karma. All this information is from either watching old sports festivals, finding clips of Shouta online, or spotting him while he's patrolling my neighborhood. Also, a bit of hacking. Karma. I actually have a lot of theories on his quirk. We all know how his hair and scarf float when his quirk is active. At first, I thought the scarf just had some sort of technology in it that allowed it to sense and respond to the brainwaves. But after more research I realized that was not true. Then I dug through some files and figured out that Shouter rejected the idea of having nanofibers so into it saying simply that he didn't need it to use it, and no one even questioned it. He also rejected it because, and I quote why the fuck would I pay for that shit, I'm not a fucking billionaire you money leeching ass. That last part was on the record. And I find that fact that someone actually wrote all that down hilarious. Karma. After that, I needed more ways to explain why Shouta is able to control the scarf the way he is. And this is where his hair comes in. No one knows why his hair floats. All the records I've found on his quirk from when he was younger all brushed it off as a side effect of his quirk. A way to keep his vision clear so he could see the people he was trying to erase the quirka. And while that would make sense, I think there's more to it. You see, there is this sort of red glow around anything of Shouta that floats, the roots of his hair and around his scarf anywhere it's flying off to. So, what would you say if the floating hair and red, glowing eyes aren't just some random side effect, but a key part of his quirk? Karma. There are many cases of secondary quirks. So, what if that's what Shouta has? A secondary quirk of telekinesis. The physical embodiment of the quirk would be the red glow. It would explain the floating hair, why he's able to use his scarf the way he does, and why sometimes the top of his hero costume floats, too. And if this is all true, then maybe if he starts to acknowledge it as a secondary quirk, he could train it, make himself able to float things outside of things that touch his body. Maybe even float knives. Burnt chicken nugget. That's impressive as hell dude. Chicken wings. Boom. Three paragraphs. I was right. Burnt chicken nuggets. El Mao. A sexy lady. Fucking you. Gremlin mummy. I'm not sure how I feel about having a secondary quirk. Karma. That's understandable. You don't have to acknowledge that at all if you don't want to. Gremlin mummy. Oh I'm going to try this. I'm too curious not to. Karma. Oh thank god because I am too. Curious I mean. Gremlin mummy. I'll update you when I have the results. Karma. Thank you so much. Gremlin mummy. No problem. S-C-R-E-M. Okay. But can we talk about how awesome that analysis was? Like karma, you could be analysis and make bank. Chicken wings. I know right. Like karma you are so smart. Karma. I'm not that good. Burnt chicken nugget. Yes you are. Laffy Taffy. You are amazing karma. Eh, sexy lady. One day you're going to learn to accept compliments. Chicken wings. Hell yeah, he is. One day. Karma. But I'm really not that smart. Chicken wings. Fuck yeah you are shut the fuck up. You are so amazing. Human polygraph. I feel like we should change Hawk's name to Karma's hype man or something. Chicken wings. He needs a hype man. 
I'm tempted to find him and just follow him around shouting about how awesome he is. Karma, that would literally kill me. Chicken wings, I wouldn't let you die. Karma, thanks a lot, S. Chicken wings, don't say it like that you suicidal bitch. Burnt chicken nugget, you should see how he acts while out vigilante. Chicken wings, I think I would have a heart attack if I saw that. Karma, cat face bust and silhouette white large square white medium square. A sexy lady. Pox, you and Karma seem really close. Chicken wings. We are. I would die for him, HJ. Karma, I would kill for Hawks. A sexy lady. Okay. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. Are you two like best friends? Chicken wings. He's my best friend's person shrugging male sign. Karma, you're my best friend too. Gorilla. Chicken wings. Yeah. One. Catch out. That's honestly so wholesome. Howdy partner. That's so sweet. Karma. Gorilla white heavy check mark person shrugging male sign cat face dragon musical notes cat face bust and silhouette honey pot white large square white medium square cherry blossom cherry blossom dashing away. S-C-R-E-M. I need to ask this now before I forget. But karma what in the world is up with the just plain random emojis you use? Karma. I like confusing people and causing chaos. It makes me happy. S-C-R-E-M. Okay that checks out. Sniper no sniping. That is actually such a karma thing. Laffy Taffy. I K-R-L-M-A-O face with tears of joy 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 face with tears of joy. Private chat between Zuzu Chan and KK Chan. Thursday, 6.42 a.m. KK Nai Chan. Your analysis is literally so good. If you don't do it professionally and get paid for it, I would be shocked lol. Zuzu Chan. I don't think anyone would want a quirkless person doing a job that has anything to do with quirks. KK Nai Chan. Have you ever heard of underground analysts? Zuzu Chan. I'm a vigilante K, of course I have. KK Nai Chan. How about that? I think that would be good for you. You could help underers and vigilantes. And maybe an antihero here and there. Zuzu Chan. But I'd have to make like a whole different identity. And I'd have to find a way to get myself out there. KK Nai Chan. Do you have any ideas on how to do that? Zuzu Chan. I'd have to talk to Dabai about it, but yeah. KK Nai Chan. Then do it. Zuzu Chan. Do you seriously think my analysis is good enough for this? KK Nai Chan. Of course, your analysis is literally so good. It better than the analyst at the commission. Zuzu Chan. Really? Thanks. I'll talk to Dabai. KK Nai Chan. Fuck yeah. Two vigilante idiots. Thursday, 7.15am. Green idiot. How would you feel if I asked you to help me become an underground analyst? Purple idiot. I would say fucking finally. Come to my cafe sometime soon and we'll work it out. Make sure you have an outfit that won't link you to your civilian identity and your evergreen identity. Green idiot. What the fuck am I supposed to wear? Purple idiot. I'm so happy you asked. I've been thinking about this forever. Green idiot. You're a dumbass. Purple idiot. Actually the correct term is idiot. As said by my chat name. Anyway. You will wear a black suit and tie, some black converse, black tinted sunglasses, and then you will wear those contacts where it makes your eyes all one color, and then you'll wear black gloves. Under that, you'll have all your knives and shit. Oh and you can do whatever you like with your hair. And you'll be like the silent mysterious type if possible. Also the contacts are just to give some like dramatic effect if you ever take the glasses off. Green idiot. You have clearly thought about this too much. Also, I can't fucking afford all that shit. My mom revoked my allowance a long time ago. Purple idiot. I'm paying for it all. I'll have it here for you when you get here. Green idiot. Okay fine. If I'm going to look like a key from Chainsaw Man I might as well embrace it. I want a katana. Purple idiot. Of course, I'll have it all there for you when you arrive. And a time after 10 p.m. today. Green idiot. You know my shoe size, right? Purple idiot. Yes, I remember when it was indented in my forehead after you kicked me in the face the first time we met on patrol. Side note, why the fuck was your shoe size on the bottom of your shoe? Green idiot. Because my shoes are built different. Remember to get the corkless shoes. Purple idiot. Of course, everything will fit perfectly, trust me. Green idiot. I'll try. Purple idiot. What's her name going to be? Green idiot. Um, give me a moment to think on that. Thursday, 8 a.m. Purple idiot. This is more than a fucking moment. Green idiot. I don't know man. I can't think of fucking anything. Purple idiot. How about Jinto? It means deep, profound, mysterious person. Or Kirishiro. It means black, white or wrong, right. Green idiot. I like Kirishiro since I have like a whole black and white thing going on with the outfit. Purple idiot. Oh, I also wanted to suggest to make you more menacing we can like make you the one to make sure that all the rules of my cafe are followed. Like if someone breaks a rule you go after them. Since I'm not good at doing that stuff. Green idiot. Sure man, I can do that. Purple idiot. Fuck yeah. I think I'm more excited about this than you. Green idiot. Probably lol. 
Friday, 10.09 a.m. Green idiot. Being a scary ominous analyst who makes sure you don't break the rules of your cafe is hard. Purple idiot. You're really good at it though grinning face with big eyes. Green idiot. That's good I guess. Purple idiot. You'll truly know you're good when the GC starts talking about you. Or HPSC sends out an email about you. Green idiot. Yep. Purple idiot. BTW there's another request for you. Green idiot. Send their info to that new email I created. Purple idiot. Thumbs up. Private chat between Zuzu Chan and KK Nai Chan. Friday, 10.20 am. KK Nai Chan. How's the whole analyst thing going? Zuzu Chan. Good actually. I've had a whole ton of vigilantes come to me. And even a few undares. KK Nai Chan. Really? That's awesome. Which undares? Zuzu Chan. The first one to come up and request me was a fairly new but totally cool hero named Spider Lily. And then Ms. Joke came to me, and I'm pretty sure my most recent contact is Shouta. KK Nai Chan. Dude. One that's sick. Once Shouta starts telling people how awesome you are then you'll start getting a lot of undares coming to you. Zuzu Chan. You think? KK Nai Chan. I know. Shouta is a very well-respected hero in the underground hero community. Zuzu Chan. Now I'm looking forward to getting home and checking out the email. Friday, 4.30 p.m. Zuzu Chan. It was S-H-O-U-T-A. I quote him so excited. KK Nai Chan. Fuck yeah man. We fight villains and stuff. Friday, 6.04 p.m. God. Added one to we fight villains and stuff. One. What can I do for you Nezu? What is this? God. Why hello. Welcome. I believed you would enjoy this chat. Mature Human Torch. Who are you? If you don't mind me asking. God. He's a new analyst that has appeared in the past month. Burnt Chicken Nugget. K-U-R-O-S-H-I-R-O-O-O. H-E-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y. Burnt Chicken Nugget changed one S to Ying Yang. Ying Yang. Why are you acting like we aren't in the same room right now? Burnt Chicken Nugget. Because. Ying Yang. Put the phone down. You are too high right now. Mature Human Torch. Dab eyes high. Ying Yang. He got hit by a very interesting quirk that can force a person into a state where they're acting like they just took a lot of wee. Mature Human Torch. Oh, okay. Make sure he doesn't die. Ying Yang. Of course. Karma. Hello new person Cherry Blossom Cat Face Dragon Gorilla. Chicken Wings. S-H-E-L-L-O-W. Catch L. Yeah, welcome to chaos. Hope you enjoy your stay. Ying Yang. Thank you all. Space is cool. What are your pronouns, Kirishiro? Ying Yang. He, him. What are everybody else's? Space is cool. Mine are they, them. Here are everyone else's. Chicken wings. Gremlin mummy. S-C-R-E-M. God. Sniper no sniping. A. Sexy lady. Human polygraph. Kiss it better. Catch L. Diggy diggy mole mole man. Karma. Kitty kitty. Mature human torch. Laffy taffy. Ying Yang. Thank you. Space is cool. You're welcome. Gremlin mummy. You're the new underground analyst. Ying Yang. I am. No people outside of the underground other than Nedzu know of me so either you're one of the undares I'm in contact with or a vigilante. I don't think you're a vigilante since there are only two vigilantes in this group chat, Dabai and someone else. So you must be an under. There's only one under I'm in contact with that uses male pronouns. So are you a racer head? Gremlin mummy. I am. A. Sexy lady. Damn you're good at what you do. Do you do stuff for daylight pros? Ying Yong. Depends on who it is. I don't like a few daylight heroes. Laffy Taffy. Really? Which ones? Ying Yang. Vlad King and Native are a few of the more well-known ones. S-C-R-E-M. We hate Vlad in this household. He's homophobic, quirkiest, transphobic, and ableist to name a few reasons. Ying Yang. Yes, there's a reason he's not allowed in the cafe. Catch L. What cafe? Ying Yang. Damai's cafe. It's called the The Toe Beanery. It's a cat cafe. It's where you can usually find me. I'm almost like the rule enforcer. Burnt Chicken Nugget. You're fucking great at it man. Burnt Chicken Nugget changed Kachow's name to wanna see some real speed bitch. Ying Yang. Dabai. You need to go to sit down before you do something you regret. Wanna see some real speed bitch. I actually like the name face with tears of joy. Karma. Yeah that's a top tier name. Ying Yang. I wasn't referring to the name as something he would regret. I'm talking about the fact that he's sprinting around the room while texting. Burnt Chicken Nugget changed Kitty Kitty's name to Hello Kitty. Ying Yang. Dabai, put the phone down before I make you. What would your mom think if you face planted because you were an idiot? Mature human torch. His mother would give him the look. Ying Yang. I have no doubt. I've heard stories of the look. Burnt chicken nugget. I'll be phone off chif. Ying Yang. See, I told you. This is what you get for sprinting and texting. Burnt chicken nugget. Oh, Ying Yang. Exactly. Human polygraph. So, Kirishiro, you do analysis. Karma does too. Karma. S-H-H-H. N-A-O-M-A-S-A. Ying Yang. What kind of analysis do you do? Karma. Mainly quirk analysis. Ying Yang. 
Me too. But I also do other kinds of analysis. Karma. Me too. Even though I'll never have a reason to ever use analysis in the future I still want to be as good as I can at it. Ying Yang. You can always be a legal analyst. Karma. Are you not a legal analyst? Ying Yang. No, since technically I'm also giving analysis to vigilantes and antiheroes and not so law-abiding people. Karma. Oh, well, I'm technically a vigilante Su. Ying Yang. Are you a well-known vigilante? Karma. I don't think so. Don't ask me my vigilante name because I won't share it. Ying Yang. I thought you wouldn't. Friday, 7.01 p.m. Gremlin Mummy. Now what the fuck did you tell Sansa that convinced him something that is very much isn't true? S-C-R-E-M. What is it? Is it the thing what's making Shu so flustered? Human polygraph. What can I say? You know, I'm just the type of guy to tell it as it is. But just between me and you. Sometimes I tell it as it isn't. Karma. Why do I get the distinct feeling that Naomasa is high? Hello kitty. Because Naomasa is high as a fucking kite right now. Kinda. He was hit by a quirk that makes people very very high. Burnt chicken nugget. I would honestly pay real money to see this in person. Also, Kiro, do you think it's the same dude who got me? Ying Yang. Yes. I'm working on find this person right now. I will send the information to the police once I have it. Gremlin Mummy. Thank you Kirashiro. Do you at least know how long it'll last? Human Polygraph. I think I'm girlbossing a little too close to the sun. Karma. Slay honestly. Ying Yang. Six to seven hours. Gremlin Mummy. God fucking damn it. Human Polygraph. Thank you my child. I do be slaying. Karma. Your child El Mao cat face bust in silhouette. Sansa get as much blackmail as possible. Burnt chicken nugget. Please do. Hello kitty. I already am cat face with tears of joy. And I will continue to until one of his spouses picks him up. Gremlin mummy. Good. S-C-R-E-M. Shu oh my god. Gremlin mummy. If I'm going to have to deal with him later I might as well have something to remember it later. Human polygraph. Hey I'm lesbian. S-C-R-E-M. Now, honey, you have to be a woman to be a lesbian. Karma. I thought you were American. Hello Kitty. Divided by Divided by Hello Kitty has attached a video of Naomasa laughing so hard he falls out of his chair and to the floor. A shocked police officer is staring on in horror from the background. Karma. What have you done? Karma. It was a vine El Mao. Hey at Human Polygraph what's 9 plus 10? Human Polygraph. 21. Hello Kitty. He's dying again. Friday 7.31 PM. Human Polygraph. There's a creepy shadow man in the corner of the room. He's freaking me out. Hello Kitty. There's nothing there Tsuki. It's just the quirk you were hit with. Human polygraph. But he's fucking terrifying. Karma. It's okay Naomasa. Just tell it as soon as we find out who you are. Promise you will be dealt with. Gremlin mummy. Period. Karma. You actually understood that horse face unicorn face zebra. Gremlin mummy. I have always understood them. I was just letting you and now have your thing. Karma. That's actually so sweet. You are such a softy. Gremlin mummy. Shut the fucking hell up. Hello kitty. Karma. I need your input on something Tsuki just said. Karma. Sure what is it? Hello kitty. He said so there I was. Barbecue saws on my titties. I am so confused. Karma. It's another vine. DW. Gremlin mummy. He will be quoting vines left and right until the quirk wears off. Trust me. I've seen him high on painkillers and it's just like this. Hello kitty. Good to know I'm in for a night of confusion until Yamada gets here. Karma. Frog face. Burnt chicken nugget. Guess where I am. Divided by divided by burnt chicken nugget has attached an image of him and Tsukachi taking a selfie. Sansa was in the background looking very tired and done. Ying Yang. Dab I. I told you not to leave the cafe. We don't know if there are any after effects from the quirk. Karma. Lucky cat face dragon horse face zebra unicorn face cat face bust and silhouette. Burnt chicken nugget. Suck on that bitch. HLHLH. I'll back soon Kuro DW. Karma. Fine. Be that way. Next time you need help I'm not helping. Ying Yang. Okay, just be safe. And if you feel off, call me and I'll just come to get you. Burnt chicken nugget. Face with rolling eyes. Saturday, 12.05 p.m. Karma. I got a new cow at Alien Monster Kiss Mark Speaking Head Bride with Veil Mail Sign T-Shirt Ring. Gremlin Mummy. Pictures and name now. Karma. Divided by divided by karma attached an image of a fluffy, black cat with black eyes. This is Sia Turpler. He had a quirk that allows him to calm anyone who touches him down. I found the quirk part out when he calmed me down from a panic attack. I love him with all my heart. Divided by divided by karma attached a video of Sia Turpler playing with a ball of grey yarn. Divided by divided by karma attached an image of Sia Turpler tangled up in grey yarn. S-C-R-E-M. He reminds me of someone I know face with tears of joy face with tears of joy face with tears of joy. Hello kitty. I know right cat face with tears of joy. Karma. Who? Human polygraph. Chu. Divided by divided by human polygraph attached an image of Shouta glaring angrily at the camera as he tried to get untangled from his capture weapon. Karma. I see it El Mao. 
Martial arts uniform rainbow bride with veil male sign ring kiss mark speaking head eye. Gremlin mummy. I hate you all. Karma. El Mao. S-C-R-E-M. No you don't. You love us. Gremlin mummy. Now, tell her if my face reads I love you at all. Human polygraph. It does not. It reads more I'm trying not to murder. Karma. Mood honestly. Sunday, 2 a.m. Chicken wings. I don't want to live forever but if everybody I know and I could die at the same moment that would be great, I don't want to grieve. Burnt chicken nugget. That would be fierce. Karma. Well you can, you can get into a cult. Burnt chicken nugget. LMAO. Chicken wings. Face with tears of joy 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 rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing. I mean, I don't want to see you die, so one day we're all just going to Kool-Aid out of here. Karma. I'm going to be the last one to die, because I'm going to be the last to drink that Kool-Aid. Burnt chicken nugget. You're going to be standing over us dressed at the Kool-Aid man. And when we die you're going to go O-Y-E-A-H-H-H. Karma. Stop I'm dying. Human polygraph. You all need to go to sleep. Karma. Oop. Yes sir. Chicken wings. Sorry, I'll go to sleep now. Ying Yang. That was a strange conversation to witness. What even caused it? S-C-R-E-M. You need to go to sleep too Kurashiro. Ying Yang. I'm working. I can't go to sleep yet. S-C-R-E-M. Why are you working at 2 am? Ying Yang. It's the only time I have to actually do my job. I do things during the day that takes up most of my time. Laffy Taffy. Working at night is a perfectly acceptable thing. Burnt chicken nugget. Not when you don't sleep during the day. Laffy Taffy. K-U-R-O. You need to sleep. Ying Yang. I sleep. I get enough sleep for my body to work the way it's supposed to. S-C-R-E-M. How much sleep do you get a day? Ying Yang. I don't feel like answering that. Human polygraph. Kuro, you need to sleep more. Ying Yang. I'll sleep later. I have something I need to finish first. S-C-R-E-M. You can work on it later. Sleep now. Burnt chicken nugget. Give me a moment. I know where he lives. Ying Yang. I'm not at my house right now so I don't see how you'll find me. Burnt chicken nugget. I have my ways. Ying Yang. We'll see. Sunday, 2.33 a.m. Burnt chicken nugget. I found him. He's grumpy. S-C-R-E-M. Good. Now you need to sleep. Burnt chicken nugget. I actually sleep during the day, so I'm good. Sunday, 10.05 a.m. Human polygraph. I need you to tell me how the fuck Kira was able to solve three cold cases in the span of two days. Burnt chicken nugget. He's just fucking built different man. Dad also told me that he's wanted by the commission. Chicken wings. He is. They don't like how awesome he is. Karma. Damn. Now we have two people the commission is after. Ying Yang. Being hate by the commission is just what I need for a plan to work properly. S-C-R-E-M. What plan? Ying Yang. You might hear about it on the news at some point. Sniper no sniping. What the hell? Kirishiro you fucking scare the shit out of me. Ying Yang. Sorry, that wasn't my intention. S-C-R-E-M. Kuro you don't seem human to me loudly crying face loudly crying face loudly crying face. Burnt chicken nugget. Do you want to see him more human? Laffy Taffy. Please. S-C-R-E-M. Yes. Hello kitty. Of course. Burnt chicken nugget. Divided by divided by burnt chicken nugget attached an image of Kuro sitting on top of a table in a cafe. Beside him, on top of his suit jacket, was a tub of frosting. The sleeves on his dress shirt were rolled up to the elbows and his suspenders were off his shoulders. His hair was down so it was covering his eyes. In his hand was a knife with frosting on it. In his other hand was a pen he was using to write in a notebook. Divided by divided by burnt chicken nugget attached a video. It's a short video. Only a few seconds. Kuro turns to Dabai. Who he didn't know was recording and says, I feel like I'm the gayest person in this room and that's saying something. Are you recording me? Hello kitty. OMG LMAO cat face with tears of joy. A hey, sexy lady. I can't face with tears of joy face with tears of joy face with tears of joy. Chicken wings. Seems you forgot some videos dabs. Divided by divided by chicken wings attached a video. In the video Kuro is standing across from Dabai in his full get up. Dabai is standing above Kuro looking very cocky and triumphant. Hawks is seen in the background eating a pie, a cowboy hat on his head and a bandana covering the bottom half of his face. Why there's a cowboy hat and a bandana? Nobody really knows. Kuro's lips are pulled together in a tight line. Dabai smirks down at Kuro. Any last words before I win? Hawks throws the hat towards Kuro. Kuro doesn't even flinch when it lands on his head. Kuro tilts his head to the side as if considering Dabai. But with complete seriousness and blank face Kuro says, Yippikie motherfucker. Kuro shoots Dabai right in the leg. The video cuts off as Dabai falls to the ground with a cry of pain and Kago falls to the grounds in laughter. Divided by divided by chicken wings attached a video. The video is rather short. In the video Kuro and Dabai are cleaning up the cafe. Speaking of surprises, Dabai, I have a surprise up my sleeve, Kuro says in his usual deadpan voice. Is it a banana? 
Damai asks jokingly as he turns to Kuro. No, it's a gun. Kuro shoots Damai in the leg without any more hesitation. It was not a real bullet. It was airsoft, in both fits. S-C-R-E-M. What the hell face with tears of joy. Laffy Taffy. I love how Kirishiro just went with it in the first vid rolling on the floor laughing 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 rolling on the floor laughing. Hello kitty. I'm saving this in my camera roll. Kuro is the most unhinged person I've seen. He's like Zawa. Mature human torch. I'm sending this to your siblings Taoya. Burnt chicken nugget. Don't you dare old man. Karma. That was badass Kuro. Comedy gold. Ghost. Ging Yong. Thank you. Some of us do things legally, some of us don't. Sunday, 10.23 am. Hot dog. Divided by divided by hot dog attached to video. In the video Kuro is standing across from Dabai in his full getup. Dabai is standing above Kuro looking very cocky and triumphant. Hawks is seen in the background eating a pie. A cowboy hat on his head and a bandana covering the bottom half of his face. Why there's a cowboy hat? Nobody really knows. Kuro's lips are pulled together in a tight line. Dabai smirks down at Kuro. Any last words before I win? Hawks throws the hat towards Kuro. Kuro doesn't even flinch when it lands on his head. Kuro tilts his head to the side as if considering Dabai. But with complete seriousness and blackface Kuro says, Yippiki a motherfucker. Kuro shoots Dabai right in the leg. The video cuts off as Dabai falls to the ground with a cry of pain and Hawks falls to the grounds in laughter. The smart one. I set fire to the rain. Dad. Not so quirky. Why is Taoya being shot by a cowboy FBI agent? Also why is Hawks there? The favorite. Lo. I set fire to the rain. Fuck off asshole. Ice ice baby. Was it a real bullet? I set fire to the rain. No, it was airsoft. Ice ice baby. Okay, then I'm not needed. I set fire to the rain. Mom. Ice ice baby. Are you injured or dying? I set fire to the rain. I'm hurt emotionally. Ice ice baby. I have faith you'll survive. I set fire to the rain. Do you not love me? The favorite. You're so dramatic. I want to meet the person who shot you. Not so quirky. I would like to know who it was. And I would like to meet them. Anyone who shoots Taoya in the leg is awesome in my book. The smart one. Natsu. Taoya's your brother. Not so quirky. And I'm showing him brotherly love. I set fire to the rain. I am not feeling the love. Not so quirky. That's because your name should be the dumb one. I serve fire to the rain. I hate you. The favorite. Can someone take me to get cold soba with a friend? The smart one. I can show. The favorite. Thank you. You're so much better than our so-called father. Hot dog. I only said I couldn't take you to get cold soba because I have work. The favorite. Sure neutral face. Hot dog. S-H-O-T-O loudly crying face. I set fire to the rain. Emotional damage. I've been hanging out with karma too much. Saturday, 12.13 p.m. Laffy Taffy. Nimari come get your feral child. A hey, sexy lady. What did Ken Ken do this time? Laffy Taffy. Oh wait, never mind. Don't worry about it face with tears of joy. A hey, sexy lady. What's happening? Laffy Taffy. Nimari san ignore that last text. Ken is being a dumbass and stole Emmy san's phone because he doesn't want you to know what just happened. Zuzu. A hey, sexy lady. Oh okay, thank you Zuzu, you're such a sweetheart. What happened? Laffy Taffy. I'll give Emmy san's phone to her so she can tell you. Oh, wait never mind she told me to tell you while she talks to Ken. Ken stole Emmy san's coffee and ran away with it. That was one of the many things he decided would be a great idea to do. And now Emmy san is highly annoyed with Ken and wants you and her to switch spots as the adult watching all of Sko for the rest of lunch, which is until 12.45. Hey, sexy lady. I can switch spots with her. I'll be there in tenish minutes. I was just at the mall. Laffy Taffy. Emmy Sen say thank you. Wanna see some real speed bitch? Can I ask a question? Eh, hey, sexy lady. You just did but go off. Wanna see some real speed bitch? Fuck off. What in the world is Sko? Laffy Taffy. It stands for Studio Company. It's the highest level at Zuzu and Kento's dance studio. Chicken wings. Oh, that makes sense. I always wanted to take dance classes. It seemed so fun. Laffy Taffy, Zuzu, who is reading this over my shoulder, has just been sent into a rant about how awesome dance is face with tears of joy. I'm handing my phone back to Zuzu for a moment. Nimari Senyu child is being wild. Divided by divided by Laffy Taffy attached an image of Kento doing what looks like a backflip off of a swing set. In the background is a kid with straight, neatly styled blonde hair and blue eyes staring up at Kento in absolute horror. Just before the video ends the blonde shouts, Kento what the fuck? Nikon is horrified. A hey, sexy lady. Where'd Emmy go? Laffy Taffy. She's getting us food at Nito's request. Kenshin won't listen to me but Nikon will. I need your assistance to make sure Kenshin won't die. Eh, hey, sexy lady. Let's switch the private chat and I'll call you. Okay. Laffy Taffy. Yes ma'am. Wanna see some real speed bitch? Okay but why is that child, that I was sure was fucking wild, so polite? 
Karma, probably because he respects Nimuri and Joke. And he also probably knows that adults are in this GC. Wanna see some real speed bitch? Oh yeah face with tears of joy. That's probably it. The wives. Sai. 12.36pm. Sexy woman. Why didn't you use your phone to message me? Beautiful woman. It just died a second ago. Sexy woman. Oh. Sexy woman started a call with beautiful woman. Hello Nimuri-san. Zuzu's voice is somehow both monotone and cheerful as he speaks. It's a skill she's pretty sure only he possesses. Hello Zuzu. Nimuri smiles brightly as she responds to the boy, despite knowing he couldn't see her. What do you want me to do ma'am? As Izuku asks the question, in the background, Nimuri can hear the distinct voice of Nito screech. Holy shit. Kento. Nimuri sighs. Her smile turns tense as she tries to stop herself from groaning. Put Kento on the phone for me. Would you? Yes ma'am, Izuku says without hesitation. Kentuo, your mother wishes for your presence. Off in the distance Nimuri can hear her precious. Dumbass son says oh shit. Rather loudly, Nimuri grins to herself. He should fear her. Just because she loves him doesn't mean she wouldn't beat his ass into the ground if he hurt himself doing something dumb. She and Emmy raised him better. Sure they also raised him to be a bit of a little shit, but that doesn't matter. Nimuri hears shuffling on the other end of the phone as Zuzu hands the phone to Kento. Hey you mama. Kento mumbles with a very nervous laugh. Hey, Ken Ken. Mind telling me what bullshit exactly you think you're pulling? Kento clears his throat. Nothing much, just having some good all fun. Nimuri rolls her eyes. Oh really? Well, if this fun includes anything dumb that could possibly hurt you, I suggest you stop. Your mom and I wouldn't like it if you hurt yourself. Yes ma'am, Kento mumbles. Nimuri can just tell there's a pout on his face. Kami, this kid. Nimuri shakes her head as a smile spread across her face. You need to be in a safe environment before you do things like that. A place with plenty of people to help if something happens. Okay, I'll be more careful. That's good to hear. Kayama say brightly. I love you long time. I love you a longer time. Thank you so much Kayama-san. Nito says with clear relief in his voice. Nimuri just knows he's draping himself dramatically over something. Probably an annoyed Zuzu. I felt like I was going to have a heart attack. Nimuri laughs and shakes her head. Nito really does live to be dramatic. Those are his words, not Nimuri's. Just so you know. Don't laugh. I really did. Nimuri just laughs harder. I'm sure you did. Nimuri smiles as she hears Zuzu laugh along with her on the other end of the phone. Gosh, these boys were just so sweet. And truly all best friends. Zuzu, Nimuri calls. Any last words of wisdom before I hang up? Um, Izuku says slowly. Nimuri can just image him tapping his finger to his lips like he always does when he's thinking. Don't do drugs, and fuck bitches, get money. Nimuri cackles loudly. She could swear she's heard that second part from somewhere before. She can't remember where exactly though. Thank you Zuzu. Wise as always. I try my best. Nimuri can hear the smile in the boy's voice. Bye Nimuri-san. Say bye you too. Bye mama. Love you. Bye Kayama-san. Have a fantastic day. Nimuri smiles softly. Bye you three. I'll see you in a few minutes. Wait moi. Nimuri cuts Nito off by hanging up. We fight villains and stuff. Saturday, 12.54 p.m. Chicken wings. At burnt chicken nugget I would give you 1,000 yen if you eat sand and record it. Burnt chicken nugget. No. Karma. I would willingly eat sand right now, no hesitation. Bitch honestly, I would do it for fucking free. I love sand. Chicken wings. That doesn't sound very smart. Karma. I would though. Human polygraph. How about you don't? Karma. But. Sand. Gremlin mummy. No. Karma. Fine. Burnt chicken nugget. Damn, that was fast rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing. Karma, bruh, he used proper grammar and shit. He was being serious. Chicken wings. I love that that's how we tell when he's being serious. Sadi, 4.05pm. Karma, can I be vulnerable for a moment? Chicken wings. I love when you're vulnerable, go ahead. Karma, I'm not a good person. Chicken wings. Let me stop you right there. Karma, go ahead. Chicken wings. To be vulnerable, you have to tell us something we don't already know. Not something we've known since the first time you opened your fucking mouth. Hey, sexy lady. What? Karma is literally so sweet. Burnt chicken nugget. He's really not. Chicken wings. Especially when you get to know him. He will beat you down with words. No hesitation. He will hurt all the feelings. Karma. I would. Wanna see some real speed bitch? I don't believe it. Chicken wings. Divided by divided by chicken wings attached an image. The photo was a screenshot of texts between Izuku and Keigo with the names blurred out and replaced with their main group chat names. Karma. You're a dumbass. Chicken wings. I am not. I'm very Samet. Karma. 1. You fucking spelled smart wrong. 2. You ran full speed into the fucking dirty window today bird brain. Smart people don't do that shit. You were supposed to be a lot more analytical than that. God. Chicken wings. Fuck you asshole. And then he proceeds to type for 10 more minutes and send me an over 2000 word rant. 
to be fair. This was after I spent a while annoying the shit out of him, so I probably had it coming. Karma. You did. Burnt chicken nugget. I swear karma. You have anger issues or some shit. Karma. Possibly. 